everybody, and welcome to Doroni's Echo. I'm Michael, he, him, and I'll be your dungeon master. A story of mysteries and shadows. Our brave party embarks on a quest in, and maybe even beyond, the walls of Dreadstone. Will they unravel the arcane enigma that binds them to unseen forces? Every role shapes tonight's tale in a dance of shadows and eldritch whispers. Let's meet the players and have a word from our sponsors. Hi, I'm Nat. I use she, her pronouns, as does my character, Dr. Elleth Nora Dorani. Previously, uh, head scientist at Nexus Arts Laboratory of Magical Sciences. Uh, most recently seen, definitely doomed to, to, to death on Corazon at the hands of the, the elder, elder evil Ragnora. Um, she was abandoned by by the gate crashes, so uh, she's definitely she's definitely gone forever, right? Well, maybe not. Hi, uh, my name is Tom. I use he him pronouns, and I am playing Amaris. Am Amaris am Giftig. Uh, she her. I am a haggling and a necromancer, and well, previously I, I used to be an intern for the Monster Hunters. Now I'm a intern here, fighting the dead. Things never change. Hi, my name's uh, Talia. I use she, her pronouns, and I am playing uh, Zin Moira Lethram. She, they, Dampier Cleric of Kalemvel. After a small crisis of faith, trying to think about what good the gods actually do in the world, and thinking she's going to be more help actually going out and fighting evil rather than just staying in a cloister, or she bids a tearful goodbye to her family and her new team and goes off here to go and do what she can fighting the hordes of the undead. It's actually quite nice. Hi, I'm Sean, he, him, and I will be playing Xerius Serene Potent Worm, also he, him. Xerius is a dragonborn armorer, artificer, slash forged cleric. Trained as an archaeologist at Strixhaven, then posted to Candlekeep as an envoy between there and the High House of Wonders in Baldur's Gate, where he met his wife of nearly 20 years. When she passed, he left the gate to undertake fieldwork down at Dreadstone Wall as an artisan, and came a little too close to comfort to some of the ills there. But if you want to find out more, you'll have to keep watching the show. Check out our sponsor, Phoenix Dice, for carefully crafted click clack math rocks for use in your favorite TTRPGs. Phoenix Dice work with recycled goods, meaning their products and packaging are all made from sustainable materials. You can go to phoenixdice.com to check their entire selection, and if you put exclamation mark dice in the chat right now, you can enter yourself into a raffle with the chance to win some dice for yourself. Thank you to our D20 Club on Patreon. You can join us from as little as one of your local currency by following the link in chat or in the description below. Our D20 Club are the best. They have created a fan Discord for us, as well as a wiki page to keep track of all the Roll Together stories. And you can find that at rolltogether.fandom.com. We are delighted to be sponsored by Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms, a Dungeons & Dragons strategy video game that brings together D&D characters from novels, adventures and multiple live streams into a single grand adventure. You can select your heroes and formation, then battle through waves of monsters for free on PC, phone, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch. And if you put exclamation mark code into chat, you can get yourself a free election chest. You can find us across social media by searching for Roll Together RPG or by following the links in chat or in the description below. If you can't join us live and you want to see our previous episodes, you can catch up straight afterwards on Twitch, YouTube, or your favorite podcast provider by searching for Roll Together RPG. Finally, we run queer friendly tables and encourage and support trans and GNC players and characters in our games. Our players and DM may portray characters that are of a different gender to their own. We aim to avoid misgendering, but acknowledge that it does happen. We welcome corrections and have a company policy in place for correcting people on pronouns. Check out exclamation point safety in chat for content warnings and some of the safety tools that we use through the TTRPG safety toolkit.
Hello. Part four. And apparently in the mood to be generals <laughs> of the battle. Um, but let's take ourselves back into the cavern. You're, are you running out of the cavern or walking? Like the energy <laughs> where possible. Yeah. Brisk power walk. <laughs> Briskly marching. Power walk. <laughs> like, like, like old ladies on a on a power walk through the park with the little weights. Mm. You come come back up um, through into the um, half pipe uh, tunnel. Um, luckily, the phantasmal illusion is only on one side and not the other, so you don't have to navigate that one again. Um, you push through. Uh, do I be mean? I think I think you should all give me a wisdom saving throw, please. Yeah, kill us anyway, though. Why not be nice now? I was going to say, if you're going to kill us now, oh, wait, no, you're not gonna... no, 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 no. You're immune for twenty four hours, and it's not been twenty four hours. <laughs> Yay! Yay! I I just like, no, I no, I was wrong. I don't want to kill you. <laughs> no, I've always three, so that's good. <laughs> I've got advantage. Bad, bad times. Bad juju. Um, so, you push through the um, small winding pathway with the chasms on the sides. Um you're not sure, you couldn't hear it on your way in, but you feel like almost the spell and the whirling shadow and eldritch energy that you've left behind you, you can just hear it still, constantly. Um, as you push through and you break back out onto the main cavern. Um, although... On a more positive note, a group of five horses are waiting on the front with a couple of soldiers and Varian, um, the Dragonborn, Paladin. And you can see that they've um, cleared like the space of zombies and Varian hops off and walks the reins over to the four of you. Um, you're a fucking gem. Much appreciated. I didn't know we had a staples. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. They don't last very long. <laughs> Horse guy, I'm really starts gently weeping. Like no, oh, I should have given them so many sugar lumps. Uh, but uh, thank you. Yeah. No. Oh, um, how, we can how... we can hold up in the the scout tower or head back. We need to fucking move. We need to head back now. Yeah. All right. Understood. Uh, I don't suppose before I spend the some of my magic, you don't have a sending stone to Adendra or any of the other commanders, do you? No, we were just sent to cover your escape if you so returned. Not a problem. Let's go. He nods and um, the other soldiers jump off their horses and pass you the reins to all four of you. Um, would two uh, characters be comfortable on a horse? I was going to say, like, if um, I'm not convinced that Zarius would have ever ridden a horse, um, and so they've got enough horses f for like, f what they've got five horses, and then what? What were they going to do? Just they're going to run. run. They're just going to head back. Um, well, so they don't have a horse at all. No, they've been told to bring out horses and cover your escape back to the fort. Yeah. That's what he said. Well, Mentally they... adding time now to go, let these guys get back. I mean, like, Amaryllis and I are very slight. Could we could could we hold on behind the other two? <laughs> <laughs> if you so wish, absolutely. <laughs> oh, soldier. <laughs> <Just> like... <laughs> now, I've, I can probably fly over. That should be all right from this distance. If you're sure. Mm-hmm. Zenmoir already on a horse. Zenmoir is very comfortable with horses. The horses are not always comfortable with them, but... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like more comfortable with Moira than they might be with Willy. 
<laughs> really's already stroking <laughs> like Shh. I think I think back in Waterdeep when she was a monster hunter they were like yeah fine Amaryllis you take care of the horses like, her name is Buttercup and she, she's the most pretty princess you're like you know, I was gonna let this be cinematic but yeah. now you've done that I'm gonna need an animal handling from you <laughs> <laughs> I'm also like that they are less comfortable with my <laughs> 17 okay yeah, yeah I feel like uh, so in, Nora grew up with her her mum being a blacksmith, right? So, and this isn't just nonsense I'm making up on the spot. I did send that to Mike. It's part of the memory. <laughs> <laughs> and my dad was a horse trainer. Yeah, okay. <laughs> part of the memories. Very though. much not. Um, well, no specific memory. Anyway, anyway. So I feel like at some point Nora will have had to have helped mum out with the shop and with materials and that probably involves a horse-drawn cart at some point so i don't think it's like something she does all the time but it's a practical okay well sure that's fine so she's not a horse girl though so beautiful so majestic (laughs) unable to vomit i love them (laughs) we'll behave and i will not exanguinate you you throw thing. yourselves on the horses the horse. in various <laughs> levels of smoothness and experience and um, canter back. Um, you notice that a, a this sort of like long um, wooden and reinforced board drops down to create like a um, ramp for the horses to scamper up and a ramp on the other side and it's just just as quickly as you go back onto the wall and off those um these ramps are sort of immediately pulled back in through rope um so, oh. i was gonna say like before we set off can i um can i cast a ascending spell yeah to um to adendra to prepare them just because it's going to take us time to ride across that battlefield right at least a few minutes so at least then they've got a few minutes head start on the the plan right yeah. Um, so double checking our plan is, uh, I, I'm going to head to, to try and work with the crystal that that's my thinking, the ever flowing font, but we want to move it somewhere handy. Cause it, it, it needs to be kind of more in range of stuff. Right. So, so I'm going to get them to move the ever flowing font and I'm going to go meet it there where, and everyone else is going to be what on the walls or. Mm. Front lining somewhere. Start with, yeah. Yeah. Be as mobile as I can. I mean, I'm happy to be assistant to you if you need someone to throw magic stuff. That that helps. Look, I'm just trying not to summon a bunch of zombies. I just if you keep me away. But your but... zombies will be good zombies. I'm uh, I'm better than the eternal darkness. I can control yeah. this. I know what I'm oh no, I'm corrupted. Yeah. Hello, Tom. <laughs> it's fine. Every every one of my characters is like, yeah, I can handle this and oh no, the village. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Cool. You are. Um so so that's that and then we had we had the plan uh, discussed off air so we're prepared and don't waste everyone's time going ah um we had the plan of sorry let's say that again it took us an hour so yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) uh also if if the zombie apocalypse comes you want talia to be on your side because military planning general (laughs) like so good um so we had the plan of making sure that the uh, we had full black full back areas as well. So making sure that the pub is safe, <laughs> because of course, um, and then the the tower, right? The mm. which one? The the thingy thingy tower. The Stoneheart Tower. Mm-hmm. Stoneheart Tower, Marshall Tower, and the pub were three key things. Yeah. The Stoneheart Tower, as we found out, helps keep, um, keep the zombification from. Zombifying the Marshall Tower is where there's all the central communications going through, and the pub is also recessed, large, and has a small entrance that can be blocked and reinforced. Defendable. That's where the food is, you know, so generally a good place to go. Wait we for are it all to blow so, under. I was going to say we're going to the Winchester. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, good. So, uh, was there anything else of the plan that we wanted to, to shout out? Uh, no, I guess. I guess it was just however however this spell's going to work. We're gonna we're mm-hmm. gonna find out. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, so in that case, um, as we start riding on the horse, I will do cast sending to um, to Adendra. Umbravor coming. It has to be now. On guard. Suggest move Font to Marshall Tower. I don't know why I'm counting on my hands. <laughs> Suggest move Font to Marshall Tower. Bring mages. Make pub safe zone. Also bring my next answer. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to say that, and then does uh, Adendra just get no? no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Amarillus. <laughs> no, Dendra's like, I know exactly what's happening. <laughs> oh, look, I've run out of words. Oh, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> Did she respond? <laughs> that was a lot of instructions. Did you prepare a pen? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, was in latrine what? <laughs> Understood. Noor Noor does not respond. So if you're sitting there going, and there's nothing, (laughs) we're just riding. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So you you canter through, and that uh, the um, the sort of makeshift drawbridge that drops that allows you to sort of hop up with your um, horses. <clears throat> and sort of throw yourself off on the wall and begin to sort of work your way around. You see um, <laughs> Fogrim um, basically carrying with a um, a couple of other particularly strong um, warriors, the four of them, including Fogrim, carrying it towards the uh, entrance of the Marshall Tower by the time you arrive. It looks like he's taken him a fair while to carry it this far. Um, Fogrim sort of glances up and shouts, Do you want it on top or just inside? On top would be ideal, but if it's going to take you forever to get it up there, we might need to move it elsewhere, so maybe at the bottom. Right, well, I prefer bottom, but we'll take it up there if you, if we have to. How tall is the tower? How many stairs? The towers are from memory, and I won't do from memory, I'll go back to my notes. Oh, gosh. I think the wall was 40, the towers were 90. That's a lot of stairs. <laughs> <laughs> they might have a lift. Some sort of Pastor Nostra. Just like a dumb waiter just <laughs> yeah. in the middle. Between three of us having spider climb, could we make a lift outside on the walls for them? I'm Well, no, I'm thinking of if we want it at the bottom, if we need to move it again, it's easier to move it from the bottom, like, floor. Yeah. Yeah. But in terms of, like, where Nora's going to be happy, it's like, ideally, you want to be on top of the tower so you can see what's going on and work on it at the same time. So, so if it's fun, Nura's going to have to run up and down the stairs and she's not happy about that. We can give you an intern. They can sit on the top and just yell things that down to you. Right. It's me. I'm that intern. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the, part, the part I was trained for, just casting message going, move it. Uh, all right. Yes, keep it on the ground floor. Right, you yeah. are. Uh place it down here they've they've got it on top of they've, they're carrying that table as well that it was on um seems to be the easiest way for four people to carry it instead of trying to carry the gemstone itself um, Turns out that was the heavy bit crystal itself <laughs> <laughs> yeah they just sort of slide the gemstone slightly and just like shuff, shuffle it so they can move it again um and they place it downstairs in like the sort of tower lobby um, before the spiral staircase takes it up. Um, there are a couple of tables and um, bits and bobs that sort of surround it as well down here with like parchments and things like that that are sort of laid around, old maps, um, updated things, stuff like that. Well, there's like 
very uncharacteristically. I like, clear oh, the stuff off the table. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's business time, right? Serious business, yeah. Yeah. Um, we'll also have um, asked them where, unless you're with us right now, uh, I'm assuming you'd have gone off to do your other stuff as soon as we came so in the there gate. for a couple of minutes, but I am, you, you, ha- you have caught me. I'm literally about to peel off. Zinmoira, do you mind? The beads, just in case. It's fine. I promise it's only in the last, uh, last resort. I will look after them, I promise. I trust you. See you after this. See the other side. I'm going to peel off. I want to go find Farian. You, you peel off and basically as you switch, um, Odendra walks off through the door as you leave um, and she just gives you sort of like a um, reaffirming tap on the shoulder as you walk past. Uh, she isn't trying to stop you or anything, but just sort of an acknowledgement of welcome back as she walks in with the Nexomancer um, and places it on the table. Thank you. Uh, this is a last resort, I want to be clear. Uh, there is, in the cave, it is surprisingly empty, actually, apart from right at the very bottom. The creature, Umbravore, is being kept held hostage by what I can only describe as echoes of the previous four heroes that went, and strangely, a part of myself that split off. I know that's a lot to take in, but just bear with me. Um, I, down there, have figured out that there is a way to permanently get rid of this creature, and therefore the zombies, therefore hopefully negating the need for this fortress ever again. So, what we're going to do is release it and fight it for a bit. It's got to get close. I'm hoping to use this, uh, pointing at the overflowing font, to channel this spell, but it's going to need four of us. Four powerful mages. Now, Moira, Nzerius, and Amaryllis can absolutely be part of this, but if you think you've got candidates that would be better off serving me here with this project, then I think they're also much more useful keeping everyone else safe out there. I can give you Randall House. They don't suit combat anyway. Mm Mm-hmm. I'd prefer for Falia to fight. Fair enough. But if you insist, you may have her. Um, And although of uh, the divine in nature, I believe if push came to shove, if you wish to take Moira away from the uh, medical duties, um, she would be quite capable as well. Oh, I, I, I was wondering if you had any other uh, powerful mages here apart from Zimora. Amorellis obviously is included in my list already. <laughs> Amorellis is like, like, I wasn't expecting not to be, but thanks anyway. Well, um, that's uh, just clarifying because yeah. uh, because Adendra was like, well, I guess you could have Zimora. I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> she's got other important things to do. <laughs> Sorry, I thought well, I to... said Celine. You said Celine. Yeah. Celine. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, that was my okay, brain cool. short circuiting. I meant to say Celine. Mm-hmm. Then that should hopefully be enough. Uh, I understand your duties will be split between a lot of other things. I wanted to pick your brains whilst things start kicking off about this, pointing at the overflowing font, how it's being used with these, the, the walls that are being kept up. Tell me everything, and I, we don't have to sort of role play through it, but we'll sort of immediately go into like crunch mode with it. Yeah, um, Odendra's understanding is it's a arcane battery um, that consistently restores itself over time, and it's been almost set to the perfect balance of it can charge everything that needs its enchantments and wards being um, consistently redone um, and will do that on its current capacity. 
you'd have to take it off that capacity to use it for anything else. Mm -hmm. Is there a list of all the um, the wards and spells that it is currently running? Like where I can quickly scan down and go, ah, that's non-essential or that one's non-essential or we know that they're going to be targeting this area of the wall so maybe we can allow this bit to be weaker while we try and do something else. Um, yes, but uh, Dendra isn't sure if that would be enough um, or if it's all or nothing as she's never turned it off before in any form. Okay. So she doesn't know if you turn off one, all of it fails or if you can pick stuff out that it um, powers. Um, can I try to attune to it? You certainly can. Do you want to make a arcana check? <laughs> Odendra will give you the help action. Thanks! <laughs> you just stick your hand on. <laughs> well, let's see. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, that's, uh, thank you for the help. Uh, 22. Your eyes glow the same colour as the gem. As your, you sort of like, your mouth, like almost words, um, arcane speech. No, you can, nobody can understand what you're saying, but your mouth is like constantly, even when you speak, straight after you finish a sentence you begin to say those like small somatic words again and again and again and again just sort of under your breath as your brain is trying to process a huge amount of information constantly on one side so you're, you're still there you're still mm -hmm. here but you are already feeling like oh this is going to give me a headache for like a month after this yeah. as your brain is processing 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 luckily out of all of the people that could have possibly turned up and attempted this you have quite a lot of processing power in your brain um so you're you imagine fit for now to do this um wise the the wall itself is enchanted and fortified um, there are wards that recur every 24 hours. So once they're blown, once the 24 hours over um, returns, they would be remade. So you imagine if you took the power away from them, the wards would stay there, but they just wouldn't return after they're used. Um, there are basically like the ley lines are all this very, very intricately knitted together system that gives off arcane and divine protections um that would be incredibly difficult to either pick apart or turn off one or the other it's all seems to be intellect inter connected like a lace that has been slowly built over the hundreds of years this fortress has been here as they've added more and more and more protections to the place um the biggest one is the marshal's tower and it seems like almost everything is sourced to this point um and you can see like it totally makes sense how the marshals would have certain um um like enhanced magical abilities while using the marshal tower um as you can see this um nexus of webbed um enchantment leads to this point almost like a conductor's plinth um to the entire like wall itself uh i'm just gonna have a quick look there is something very that makes you very uncomfortable on the shadow peak tower in the top corner and there is some shadow magic almost seems similar to what you experienced with umbravar sort of emanating from that tower oh okay uh amaryllis did you say you were in the room with us yeah in this moment um let the others know there's something going on in the shadow peak tower but he... sense it I'm gonna... <laughs> <laughs> hmm. i i i hurry out and do my do my scampering around and like message <laughs> Zerius, um, are you are you with us sure no uh i think Zerius would have um run off at 
it's like split off with with Zimora, but probably then carried on to um, the pub to help with the fortifications there. The most important place. Yes. Yes. Someone's got to protect the beer. <laughs> well, like, um, so turning the tables over to make some sort of barricades and setting the benches up as um, emergency, like, uh, you know, beds and and anything that would would, would be needed, uh, not to get one last drink in. Yeah, sure. Cannot promise that's not actually happening. I think you see like the barricade, and they're like, Amaris's head just like pops over, casts message, gives a thumbs up, ducks down again, and is off. Yeah. Uh, and to be fair, the luckily it does not seem to be connected at all to the font. You can sense that the ancient dwarven ruins just lend its own unique magical properties to the wall. Um, they seem to be completely unique to themselves and aren't being powered by the font. Um, the other big things would be the um, the cavern guard tower houses a magical beacon known as the sun's radiance, which can be harnessed by variant to cast protective spells upon the wall during crit- crucial moments. Um, it's a... It, you can sense now that though I am trying to sort of describe it in a sense is is almost like your all the map that you have that we've made um for this show or it's almost like you're now looking at that mm-hmm. in the side of your brain you're almost getting this nexus map of all the ley lines of where they lead and then almost like information pops up when you focus in on something and everything's leading to different places for you um and that that beacon um is the same one that you saw um when you were fighting um the very first time the wall was breached um is it's basically essentially a shield that comes up in crucial moments um to protect on the cavern, so on the cavern guard tower. But this is something that Amaris, Amaryllis would already know, right? That you get a bit of an up, uplift to your spells if you're casting them from there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So I, I don't, I don't need to tell you that that is a thing that you could be doing while we're footling about and waiting for the thing to get here. Set different terminology again, footling. Yeah. Footling. <laughs> footling. I guess the, the main things I, I would like to know, and now I'm attuned to it, Mike, is do I get a sense of how long I can physically withstand being attuned to this thing? And B, at the moment you're saying it's kind of, it's running at 100% capacity, like efficient capacity. Mm. And to, but you keep saying like, you'd have to turn it off to as, assign that energy to something else. What I was wondering about was like siphoning a small portion of it to change what it was um, being sent to. But also, um, is there, do I get the sense that there's a way to overclock it and how long that would last? Because it's currently running at efficient capacity of like, this is how much energy it's got in a 24 hour given period. Mm. But if we overclocked it now to maybe not run some stuff later when it either doesn't matter or. We all dead uh, anyway. We're, we're all dead anyway, or the zombies are all dead, so we can afford slightly weaker. Is that a possibility? Make dealer's choice, investigation or arcana. Um, I'll take investigation because I get an extra d4 on that. Folks, when we were prepping, we talked a lot about Star Trek. We're going to pull all the energy from the <laughs> en- engines and put it into shields. <laughs> Let's see if she can he take it, Captain. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, okay. Uh, So that's a 27, 28, 29 investigation. That's the biscuit. (laughs) That is the biscuit. So how long you've got hooked up to it? A couple of more hours and you don't think you'd be, you might be getting more memory loss, for example. Um, Our, ours is a more positive response yeah. than I thought it was going to be, I'll be honest. Um, but even to this point, you don't know exactly what permanent damage may be caused just by being attuned to it. But yeah. you know that there is, 
It's like you, you can feel like there's a very tiny little spark that's slowly starting to burn little parts of your brain. Um, there's so many, so many bits that can get burned before you're like, oh, I'm noticing a problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and then when it comes to overclocking it, you certainly feel like you could, but you certainly feel like that burning process would be very quick. Okay. You could overclock it, but you'd also overclock yourself. Sure, 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 sure. Last resorts, last resorts, B plans, Z plans. It's fine. Okay, okay, um, okay. And to turn off some bits to siphon for what you're intending, especially with, I mean, you're, you're pretty much like, you're truly attuned to this now with the roles that you've made. <clears throat> I mean, I can't just dismiss at 27. Like, you can tell that although this ever flowing font is so irritatingly worded that way, it only has so much that you, <clears throat> it all leads back to the restrictions that Mistra has literally put on this universe. Mm -hmm. You know, you those mean? fabled 10th, 11th just don't exist. And although this is an ever flowing flaunt, there is no magical way to tap further past that capacity. And that is where it sits. And right now it is running off what would be equivalent to ninth level in a sense of all of the things it's running right now is it's using its entire capacity but the capacity you need it for, you're going to need the entire thing. Mm -hmm. Unless you then found more magic elsewhere, but to link them. Dwarverons? Maybe. That's quite... Third quest time. <laughs> We're going to go and spend the next three hours just going... <laughs> I'm running along the wall and then just like fling myself off. I'm like, hey, I'm going to run to the... Oh, turns out it's not emergency time. It's not going right now. We've actually got time to go splunking. <laughs> this person lost their earrings. That's a high priority. <laughs> Econora might just get bored. <laughs> Could you help me get my axe back? Someone stole it from the wall. <laughs> also, um, do we need components for this level nine spell? Is the um is it is it basically like a big um arcane focus like the, yeah. the, is that, the is that enough? EFF? Yeah. Uh, there is only one requirement on the spell. An item distasteful to the target, it says on the thing that Mike has sent through. Cool. Um what does Umbravore hate? Is it life? Magic? Kissing. He hates kissing. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was the... the Only true love. I thought it was the fun. Yeah, I, I was yeah. assuming that that would have been the the case. Yeah. Nope. Side quest it is. <laughs> I didn't say no. I just didn't say yes. <laughs> Thanks, voice in our head. I don't know. You're smart. Work it out. Not... The characters have to try and find out. <laughs> we're not. The characters are smart. We're not. Okay, I'm problem. not. Okay, so what are we doing? Are we are we going cave diving or are we going? Are we just uh, hitting, uh, the, hitting the, the go button? What you rolled, and I did briefly say, I just don't, I, I think um, the, it isn't that much. No. No. No, okay. Not to make a direct difference. Um, okay, but I get the sense that actually with the um, with, with the, the way that all the wards are working, because we're going to need 100% of it, actually, I probably don't want to be uh, fannying about with it in the pre-battle. We want to save as much of it as possible for emergency situations and the actual fight, so uh, the actual banishment spell. So actually, until it gets closer... I may as well be up on the the tower with Amaryllis. I think was my thinking after all that. This is me out of character checking in with everyone. Oh, the Nora making a decision. <laughs> do you need, do you need to spend time not for playing around with this, but if it's finishing off the next? Uh... I could I could also do that as a backup. 
I think anything that you can do ahead of time whilst other people's resources are still available. Like, we have soldiers, we can throw it. Yeah. I mean, harsh, but, but also, hey, Nat, if you burn your brain out, none <laughs> of us know how this works. But we're just like, I don't know, I put some beads in and hope for the best. To be fair, I personally don't know how it works either, but... Uh... <laughs> Tom does, but he's not telling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I guess the, the implication is uh, we'd need the ever-flowing font to power the Nexomancer as well, because we need a big source of energy for it. Mm. Um, the bees would be the focus to send it specifically to Corazon. So it, it's a last resort in the case that we don't have four mages left to do the banishment spell that's the level of last resort it is so, that's one of the reasons i'm on the way to varian so i can send you guys some people to watch your backs so do you think you can prep it and it's just the case we need to turn it off we need to put the power into it if all things go i'm just worried yeah. about you burning yourself out i can make a i can make a big red button i'm sure <laughs> so just, <laughs> you even write push and i'm like ah oh, push I am not letting any of you sacrifice yourselves. <laughs> uh, no, that's what I mean. Obviously, like, I, I can't do it right this second. It, I, I'm sure other people will be doing things. But um, Nora will spend some time then finishing off the uh, next month and will encode thoughts into an image of what someone needs to do to activate it and, like, tie it to her uniform. Are you going to stay attuned? Cool. <laughs> you got two hours. Just don't do anything. Just don't long assuming, rest. Assuming, assuming that we're gonna kick things off. If we decide to to pootle about for two hours, then no. But if we're hitting the go button now, then yes. The answer. Moira, you mm. wanted to go find Varian. Yes. Um, you would find him back on his tower, which is the Cavern Guard Tower, um, preparing uh, his soldiers, things like that, and preparing his big oh shit spell. Perfectly timed. I need a couple of your most trusted people. I Look, I know who they are, but I mostly just call them Oi, you, so I don't know their names. You can have Oi and you, sure. <laughs> Oi. Uh, we need to make sure that the people in the Marshall Tower who are powering the big oh shit save the day spell protected. I, I'll give you Oi and you. And you can have a couple of the recruits. They are trusted. Don't you worry. Sorry. I like them. Prodigies. They might be doing nothing or they might be doing the most important thing of all. No, but your only promise you need to make to me is if they're doing nothing and then you realise they're going to continue to do nothing, send them back into the fight. I need them. Well, I'm assuming I'm going to need them from the threat set. Are you making? Yeah. We are... 72.3% highly likely to die. Oh, I like those odds. <laughs> we are the real reason most people come to the wall. Yeah, they're all yeah. nut jobs. <laughs> please, tell, please tell me the odds. <laughs> um, also send someone to grab Celine's things because she, she has a job to do, but she will also be trying to go and do healing stuff at the same time, so just tell her to focus. I think she's already set up her wards along the back of the walls. As far as I'm aware. I think she's setting up some sort of uh, critical care place inside of the uh, pub as well. Fine. Uh, and I need three decent but extend expendable people to be my meat shields. Uh, I've given you all I can give. One? If this tower falls, uh. then... I know you're doing one of the most important jobs. I just trying to plan like 20,000 things in my head. Aye, right, but don't your uh, shield guardians pretty much just give you that exact thing anyway? Me fair, yeah. 
<laughs> but if I get hit by things, I need someone more put a fine Yes. Anyway. I'm just okay. gonna again clap him on the shoulder going. Buy you a beer afterwards. Don't worry. I'll find you. Cool. Oi! You! <laughs> Larry! No, 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 girl Larry, not boy Larry. No, don't, not girl, go, yeah, no, not girl, but she's, it's her birthday. <laughs> <laughs> also, at this point you hear, hello, uh, something in Shadow Peak Tower seems like spookiness. Uh, best of luck. See you after the war. Kisses. Kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> you, you, yeah. Uh, to Marshall Tower Nor will tell you what to do. Go, go, fucking, don't look at him, look at me, Go. <laughs> And they rush off. And Zarius, what are you up to? So, yeah, Zarius, as kind of previously described, has been um, trying to aid with um, setting up the the, the pub as the kind of emergency fallback place. Um, You know, just uh, trying to to give some instruction to who I'm guessing are slightly more civilian um, staff working there. Like... Ironically, the the two bartenders, well, the two, uh, Garrett and um... Isabella. Isabella, sorry, my brain stopped working. Um, Isabella Flask. Isabella Flask and Garrett Flask um, are both very unbothered by the situation and seem very experienced. Garrett has taken his axe off the uh, top and is sort of like limbering up and spinning the axe and sort of getting himself light and you can hear a devastating and terrifying amount of like pots and cracks as he's moving his body and re- limbering up and Isabella is spinning two very sort of like nimble knives in her hands um, and sort of pockets, th- pockets them in her um, words and brain have completely shut down. Apron, there we go. Thank you very much. Um, And just sort of slots the knives into her apron and begins sort of ordering to move the tables around so that um, Celine is with you as well, Um, the head cleric who's clearing tables and creating sort of like clean spaces to work work on. So I think that's that's been kind of going on, and then he got Amaryllis's um, message. Um, so seeing that kind of everybody's pretty pretty well set up, and there's not a lot more that he can do here, I think he's going to go and um, have a peek in Shadow Peak Tower. Yeah. So. I imagine probably at this point, uh, Myra might be either just behind you or just next to you. Mm-hmm. Um, do you want I mean, to make if, a history check? If, if they if they know that um, Celine is at the, the pub, then I imagine their cr- paths might cross and they could have just like a brief, you know. Ah, um, go to check out the Shadow Peak Tower. Could could be could be dastardly. I'll mm. be there in a second. I'm just here to go say, see Celine. And I'll oh. go in without me. I'll see you there. Uh, so yeah, I will. Um, I will head in. I'm going to activate my um, uh, lantern of revealing, so that if there's anything truly invisible, shadow, shadowy this time, I will be seeing it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and yeah, I'll, I'm literally just going to go straight in. Um, if I need to, I'll psychically scream for help. Help me! No. You go straight in and. It is very dark inside of the actual tower. Um, not the sort of bending and winding and sort of flowing shadow that you know of, that you've seen. Mm-hmm. You head up the spiral um, stone stairs, and at the top you come across um, Kale Sun. Um, while, recru- ri- while reclusive, um, is fairly well thought of and very, very quiet and only really communicates through silent nods. And you can see Kale is sort of spinning shadow magic. 
around his knife. Um, and you can see that he's sort of like spinning it and placing it on arrowheads on the two sort of large ballista. And he sort of like almost sh startled, like looks behind at you. Um, he's on his own and no of us, he, you do know that um, Kale is a um, captain and should have multiple soldiers up here, but currently there is just them. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing from the way you've described it, I feel like this is good preparations rather than I've been turned to the dark side and this, this is going to be a thorn in your side preparations. From what you know of Kale, sh absolutely. Uh, you're welcome to make an insight check if you question yourself slightly, just to make sure. Um, I mean, I, I will roll every dice that I get uh, the opportunity to roll. Uh, yeah, that's a four. So I completely trust him. Um, here, have the keys to uh, my Volkswagen Beetle. Gail <laughs> <laughs> uh, kind of glances, gives you a silent nod, and then just goes straight back to whatever he was doing. Yeah, I, th I think slightly disappointed that things aren't kind of more exciting when we'll just kind of head back down to the bottom. Um, doesn't know whether it would be better to kind of go looking for Zinmoira or just wait. So so we'll actually just just wait there. But you know that Zinmoira's gone to the pub, so... I do, but yeah. Don't have uh, the wherewithal. Said we're imagine... meeting there. That seems... This has become really chaotic of everybody just going like this way, that way, that way. <laughs> but Ira, you bust your way through that pub door and you're back in the pub. I am literally just like, I'm going... Just want to find Celine and just. Lit I am literally on like whirlwinding from place to place, just going. Be safe. Have you have secondaries ready? Thinking about, yeah, their own plans. You might be called somewhere else. So make sure this place can run without you. Okay. Well. I'll be at the foot of the wall most of the time, and if the wall falls, then I'll be here. Eh, 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 plans. Have fun. Okay. See you later, uh, tomorrow. Send someone to the Marshall Tower. Send yourself to the Marshall Tower. Send yourself and someone else to the Marshall Tower for emergency healing of people there. That's the plan. What's well, right now? Yes. I, I... I I don't think I will do yes. that. I think my services will be much more important Celine. spread out on my wards I've made myself. Celine. Make a persuasion check at disadvantage. <laughs> well, that's a natural 20. At disadvantage? <laughs> that's not a disadvantage, but I'm just going to... Uh, <laughs> that is unlucky. And, uh, I mean, that was still pretty decent. Uh, persuasion. 16? Ooh. 16. Oh, Dendra just walks in and goes, no, get to the Marshall's Tower. <laughs> <laughs> Overruled. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will periodically come by the Marshall's Tower and see if you need anything. But my job and the most important thing is to make sure soldiers can get back up onto that wall. Everything will fail if the wall falls. Why do you have to be so fucking responsible and not just do what I want you to do? God, I hate you having such a good sense of self. It is said, as Celine will know, that is said with affection. Yeah. She never stops smiling. <laughs> Piss me off so much. Fine, fine, fine. At least send some people there and don't be pissy if you do get forced to go places and do other things. Cool. I need to go find Zoe so he doesn't do something stupid. I'm gonna give her a hug and run away. 
<laughs> I love you throw stropping. You're like, you're not allowed to throw a strop though. Someone tells you to do things. You run off and you find Zarius. What Zarius doing? Just relaxing, just like <laughs> whistling. <laughs> yeah, I think just like trying to give some instructions, but it's is very much out of his depth. Like he is not he know you know, he could he can hold him his own in a in a fight, but is not really at home in an army. Like it, we're talking small scale. I know I can just punch this guy and knock, knock his lights out. Um, so he's probably trying to kind of give some advice and it's completely just either irrelevant or <laughs> just obvious. <sighs> okay. Mm. Okay, okay. How are you? You good? Are you okay? Yeah, it's all good. Nothing in the tower. It's just Kale. <laughs> I am going to go up to the top. <laughs> it's, it's just Kale. <laughs> you go up to the top and you can see just Kale doing what just Kale does, which just is Kale. messing about with shadows and placing them on our heads. <laughs> and then he looks across at you. Catch that. Finally got it to work. And then just looks back and carries on doing it. Okay, well, that's why you stay in the tower. <laughs> <laughs> it finally works. If I'm busy doing other things and getting in the way, then I don't have to think about myself. You are an unfortunate victim of that. I'm just going to go back to down the outside of the tower. And just <laughs> it's okay. lovely to have company, though. <laughs> <laughs> This is a lot of faffing about when I have a battery draining my neurons. <laughs> I would like to point out that I feel that all of this is happening during that initial conversation. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Moira is just that fast. Okay. So, is there anything else? Uh, who else do we want to have a go have a chat with? No more, no more. That is it. I I somehow got caught up in more side quests than I planned to. I don't know how, but that would happen really fast. And by the time that Noah's like, okay, this is the situation. I'm going upstairs. Moira has picked up Fazarius and they're going to the front. I'm just next to Nora going, I'd really like to finish my book first. So there's only like 40 pages. I'll just stand there. And... No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she probably just tunes that out and is just sort of like working and muttering. I feel that we we'll probably cut out anything that happens after. No, nope. <laughs> everything that happens after Moira goes to <laughs> goes to the Varian, and then that's fine on her part. It's too many side quests. But the necklace and the earrings. Right, let's not let's not blow up our crow romance. <laughs> I'm stressing. That's the problem. Like I. <laughs> Why? We're all going to die. It's fine. We We're just going to fine? join the horde of the undead. It's great. Yes. They're all going to die down here. <laughs> to die. Who is saying that? They come in the night, mostly. Mostly. <laughs> uh, efficiency. Went to Varian. Takes to take the tower. It's all good. Let's go outside. Let's get started. Um. Uh, Mike, we've been very wishy-washy about this uh, about the next Mansa, and I appreciate your your sort of uh, leniency as a DM with me just going. I'm going to invent a thing. What but... is? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's it's another magical artifact that Nora invented, um, and that she's trying to reinvent. Um, I I would like to have said that we've got quite a, a chunk of it built and prepared before we left. Um, but uh, I, I don't want to just sort of hand wave and be like, and now I have it. So how long do you think is fair for me to have to to spend to finish it? You've made one before. Yeah. How essential was an incredibly... Um, the, pa the power source is laboratory to create it. Um, oh, the, the laboratory... Uh, I mean, Nora had her office that she worked in and, and bits and pieces to, to tinker with, but we raided Sirius's supplies mm -hmm. for artificery type shit. I'm um, just it's more getting an idea of like... 
the how original one. specialized the kit equipment needs to be for you to create it again. The the main specialized components that I specifically mentioned before were the power source, which the original one was um, was a silver wheel, which was a piece of the Ori of the Wanderer. Um, and then the the focus to attune to which plane it's going to open a portal to. So those are the main like components that are sort of particularly special. Um, and then the rest of it is kind of magic and mm. gadgets. Uh, We're going to use I, the artisan's blessing channel divinity as well to like with the fill time, in the gaps. Yeah, with the time that you took to make it plus. Zerus's skills, your I mean, it wouldn't take you long to whip up a blueprint that Zerus would be able to follow without any issue, especially the aesthetic part of building it in the first place. Um, I'd say you did it, and to be honest, it's not really your fault that I've, whether intention or not, given you everything you could possibly need to make another Nexomancer. So, yes, you have a Nexomancer. You built it incredibly well. And you also know there is something that would power it, so... Okay, great. <laughs> what, like it's hard? <laughs> <laughs> you've you've met all of the requirements. <laughs> great, amazing. Um, in, in that case, sort of, to finish off, like, as the, the towery stuff is happening, um, like I said before, we'll have finished, like, putting the last bits together, putting the beads in, not connected it to the ever-flowing font, but prepared the connection so it could be easily made and done the um, the memory from Encode Thoughts, which comes out like another silver thread. Um, actually, rather than attaching it to herself, we'll leave it on the table in case her body is lost uh, next to the next Amansa with a note saying... Um, Last resort, Amaryllis only. Uh, Amaryllis or Zerius only. <laughs> Cross out Amaryllis. Zerius <laughs> only. Yeah. Amaryllis Amaryllis. back up. Do not eat. <laughs> Do not eat. Um, and then we'll turn to Amaryllis. Shall we go up the tower? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, <laughs> just sort of like almost felt like she was going to say something. Um, yeah, we can do this. It's easy. It's easy. What is it? No, 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 no. I'm just. No, no. This, 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 if you have anything no. to share right now, is exactly the time. I don't want to hear it when we're mid battle. I won't. I won't speak mid battle. Let's go. Okay. You climb up. The sparrow staircase and you come to the top odendra and fogrim are here and you can see now for the first time nora odendra wielding this magic that seeps out of the tower floor and into her hands and she wields it around like a, in a circular motion and then passes messages off and passes another message off and she brings stuff in and it's almost like in a, it's quite similar to like almost maybe Tai Chi or yoga in a way that she sort of lets it flow. It's a very, very unique and very specific magic to this place. Um, but you look out and as you look out, war horns sort of light up all the way along and the brazis are lit and these huge flames begin to light and just below where the catapults are the huge balls of um like lard and rocks are lit to be prepared to be loosed out and for the first time and probably amaryllis this is the first time you've seen the entire fortress on full ready you can see hundred the 150 soldiers, the 150 souls that have given their lives and livelihoods up to defend this wall stood strong. Um, Zarius, where would you like to be stood? Would you like to return to the ta main marshal's tower or would you like to go to the wall and join sort of your fellow soldiers? Honestly, Zarius is probably going to defer to Zimora at this point. Um, they seem to be a bit more switched on when it comes to this sort of thing. So 
perhaps if, if Zimora is going to be focusing in one particular area, um, he'll go to the other, other other end of the tower to try and spread ourselves out a little bit more. Well, oh, yeah. if you like to go, Moira, then that sort of will give us a better idea. I think the key areas that we need to currently keep up are, in my mind, Cavern Guard and Stoneheart. It's also right in front of the towers and a direct line to the pub. So I want to be between, in between there. On the wall? Are we on the wall? We loan my some stuff until it's time to run away. Okay. You, Amaryllis and Nora, you can see Moira stood to the side alongside the fellow soldiers sort of watching out strong. Um, does that sort of inform where you'd like to be, Zarius? Well, it sounds like if, if Moira is going to be between the Stoneheart and Cavern Guard Tower, Perhaps it makes sense for Zarius to be between Subterra and Cavern God. Um, because then we're we're kind of spitting distance of each other if we need it, but also holding our own sections. Okay. Odendra, Fogrim both look to Amaryllis expectantly. Dr. Durrani, we are prepared. We will do our best. It's been an honour serving with the alternate version of you. Best of luck in the next life. Amaryllis, salute. Winky face. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing emoji. <laughs> Just like, how, how did you send that amorous? I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to do something slightly different. And I'm going to ask Nat what she thinks Echo Nora would say in response. You just don't want to do the accent again, do you? <laughs> <laughs> my blade. <laughs> oh, my blood. <laughs> I think you just get back. Good luck. And you can almost like expect an explosion. But instead you hear like this. Sucking noise as all of the space begins to be like pulled away. You almost like can see like you're about to jump into hyperspace everything all the lights everything become really long and sharp like you're being pulled un unimaginably quickly forwards but then you shunt back i'd like all four of you to make wisdom saving throws mm -hmm. and you notice the uh with a with your um bonuses from uh, moira's speech and you as soon as it sort of flashes back and you're all sort of almost knocked to your knees, the portal has dissipated. That's a six. That's a 13. 27? 21. 21. <laughs> so... <laughs> <laughs> it's me Sean just face down to the... But six with advantage, Oh, we had advantage. Yeah, yeah. advantage. Mm. Yeah, advantage. Oh. <laughs> Zarius gets off and Amaryllis remains face planted down into the tower. Well, my second roll was a four. So, yes, six with advantage. Oh. The gods laugh at us. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Team. So, I don't know. Weakest link. Luckily, I. Rolled horrifically. Oh, thank so, Zarius, so you take 20 psychic damage. Everybody else takes 10. Great. Yeah, As yeah. All of your memories come flooding back. What you didn't know you'd lost, 
Now you know you lost, but have also gained back. Whether you're disgusted by yourself after what you've remembered, or happy with yourself, sad, that's totally up to you. But it's like someone's opened a door and rammed, rammed something very big through it as your brain it returned what was missing. I think I would probably flavor that for Zarius as um, just like collapsing to his knees as all of these like very emotional memories suddenly come flooding back to him. I think Nora will have a little uh, moment of like, and then we'll see her bracer and sort of just kind of give it a little squeeze as she remembers once again her mum giving it to her and then there's probably like a brief eye catch with Adendra because we've all just been like ah brain right so and then we'll just quickly like eyes away and focus on the fight at hand I think to bust out the spirit guardians and I see them and I think I see not just you know my Panna, into sailing, into Gath, but I also my, my father, my mom, my brother, my sister-in-law, holding images of their kids, and I'm like, realizing that I've now put them, who I care about the most in the world, into some serious trouble. But I think that just bolsters that urge to get through this, keep them safe. I destroyed this book. I completely abandoned being a neck. I was a druid. Why am I back here? I've even that's the thing. I was like, oh, my memories are back. There's still a gap. What? Why? And I'm just like, not, not, not the time to think about that. As I feel the the heartbeat of this book against my hip, and I'm just like. <sighs> Just very quietly go, I have a cat. Their name is Butter. I probably will never see them again. Right, let's get this going. And as the book jumps up, flip, 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 flip. <laughs> and just this medieval art of things crawling out of the grave and an image of, like, ink amaryllis, something pulling it up again. I'm like, horrible, absolutely horrible, but what do I expect? Right, let's go. As you all recover and sort of stand strong once again you look across and the silence of the warded fall is unnerving the emptiness of the old wall and the caverns behind it make you think oh maybe Nora fix the problem into like a rumbling and a grumbling begin to shake the ground and the stone and you can see even down to the particles of sand that sit on stop on top of the stone begin to rattle and shake a surge of shadow and eldritch energy erupts from the ca cavern's depths a formless mass hurtling towards you. Its malevolence stains the air as it advances. An ominous force leaving tendrils of darkness, those same tendrils you saw before like hands investigating, finding new, now enraptured with shadow and eldritch negative energy. Simultaneously, the eldritch infused undead hordes charge across the battlefield a relentless tide fueled by an unholy fusion of necromancy and eldritch power the walls defenders brace for the impact as the onslaught converges a collision between undead and determined resistance and that is where we'll take our break great Pray for us, chat. 
Great. We'll see what happens. Exactly. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Cue heavy metal music. <laughs> we'll see you in around about five or ten minutes. I hope you're excited for the final half of this tiny little four batter. <laughs> and welcome back. We're going to get straight into it. Um, we prepared, we ran back to the fortress, to the, well, hopefully safety of the fortress, and the horns have been rung, the creatures have appeared, and the battle is about to begin. Wait, Mike, where did the horses go? Hmm. They were put to safety. They were put to sleep. Don't <laughs> put to safety! <laughs> Nothing safer than the arms of Clemvor. <laughs> They're in the pub. They're in the pub. They're helping with the fortifications in the pub. It's why I said I don't remember us having stables because I don't think there are stables. They just hang outside by the waterfall. Let's just briefly reference the map. The horses probably were kept in a courtyard, to be fair. There's a breeze. The breeze. The breeze? We'll catch, catch a breeze. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they got a chill. <laughs> they have to. Right. So forget about Sorry. the horses. They're, we certainly can't. Safe. <laughs> They're certainly safer than you guys. So That's why we're <laughs> focusing on them initiative. instead. I love that Mike is just casually taking a, a sip of tea while we're waiting for him to carry on and he, <laughs> tell us what's happening. Oh, I asked for an initiative. Oh, oh we sorry. We, we were None too of busy us heard thinking, that. We're thinking about horses. <laughs> I'm not pretty sure I asked twice. <laughs> <laughs> we were still hearing about the horses. They've got such lovely fetlocks. Uh, okay, uh, I can't do math. What did you, what did you I... roll? I don't like this die. I rolled a 13. Well, that's not too bad. And true. Let's see which is. I'm just going to roll some dice and see which one's my favourite one to roll and will do me best. Yeah, maybe it's a good idea to try and. 22. But... Oh, sorry. Or above, actually. 25 to 20 first. No. 20 to 15. 19. 19. 15 to 10. 10. 13. And below that? Nine. Nine. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. It is now. Bum, bum, bum. Just quickly organizing. Borgrim is going to use his commander dice. So, for everybody at home, we are doing something slightly different. Every player, including the two marshals, have a commander dice. This commander dice can do a variety of different things, but it will either benefit or um, act as a negative to the overall roll at the top of the round, which will be the soldiers on the wall versus the undead. Um, so you'll figure it out as we go along, but um, this is a great example. For now, the um, Forgrim, Marshal Forgrim, is going to keep up the morale as the charge is probably at this point the most nerve-wracking bit. So um is going to do troop mobilization um for a eight two. Doesn't kind of surprise me considering Fulgrim's just like just go do it. Yeah. Oh. So he's adding his charisma to that. Mm. Uh that makes it a Great. Well done, Fulgrim. So the first thing that happens in this fight 
is your going as a negative modifier. Fogrim shits himself. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Solid work. Yeah. Yeah. It's <laughs> never been an actual combat. It's just, <laughs> you're like, oh, after all that. <laughs> it turns out after all that. Um, this is why you're the marshal we don't care about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but just kissing him. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Maybe he's that's his problem. Yeah. I'm not getting my kisses. And everyone's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> um, for his action, um, nothing right now. So, Dr. Blood. Nora Durrani, you are up. Okay. Um, how far away are the closest zombies? The closest are 200. Just behind them, uh, 210 feet away would be oh. um, the shadow creature. They are further than I thought. Is that 200 from the wall or 200 from the marshal's tower? From the wall. Okay, so that's even further from where I am. Uh... They are basically at the old wall currently. Is there... Oh, no, I feel like we've we've cranked through all of this theory crafting before. Basically, I'm just like, I'm attuned to this super magical device. Can I cast further? That's probably a no. Um, if you want to deactivate the um, current yeah. things it's been used for. Not right now. Just drop um, the wards. I'll just drop all of the wards. And <laughs> pew, pew stuff. <laughs> um, I would like to prepare... Uh, and hold slow for um, the first six creatures within a 40-foot cube of each other to get close enough. Uh, so within within 120 feet. Okay. Um, I'll hold that as my action. Uh, and then bonus action. Nope. Um... So, Commander's Dice, I'm going to do Arcane, Magical Intervention. Uh, infuse the wall with protective magical barriers or unleash offensive spells to disrupt the undead onslaught. Uh, do those nondescript offensive spells travel more than 120 feet? What if we drop the wards? <laughs> um, they might be within by the time it's their turn. Okay, sure. Let's go for it. Yeah. I'll tell him. Go, go do some magic things. People I'm commanding. Okay. Uh, Everybody I'm at home, we're currently on a minus five. Jeez. So good. So, so good. Such a good place to be in. Uh, my intelligence modifier, plus five. Uh, great. Uh, so that's a 13. Okay. You stay the same. <laughs> Whoa. Stay the same. Really helping. Really helping. <laughs> yes, but not making it worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> that <is> <laughs> I've had a bad day. All having Is a bad day. Everything you'd like to do, would you like to move anywhere else in the fortress? Are you happy on the Marshal's Tower still? I'm going to stay here. Thank you. Alrighty. It is now Umbra. Umbra. What? Umbra. 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 It is going to use its entire 80 foot. Ah! What? At a dash. Impressive. Mm -hmm. As it, it's almost like it it grabs the ground as it shoves itself and pulls itself further forwards. You can see, put at this point now, it, as it moves forward, it keeps like bulging and popping, and each time it bulges, it almost dispenses more undead creatures as it keeps building itself and getting itself closer and closer and closer. That's where they come from. Well, solve that mystery. So, uh, Umbravol would be the first thing to come in within 120 feet. So it's up to you whether Umbravol would be the thing that would catch it, or if you're specifically still focusing on the undead. Specifically still focusing on the undead, because I don't think Umbravor is gonna fail a wisdom save. <laughs> he keeps throwing wisdom saves at us. 
So... Yeah. I, I'm going to hold it for the zombies. If I can. Mm -hmm. But it's, it's good to know that it goes that fast, because if it's now within 120 feet of us, then actually we might not have... We've got two more rounds. Assuming it doesn't dash both turns. Um, that is its movement, its action. That's everything it can do on this turn. It is now Odendra's turn. As it has moved into um, range, um, she is going to do a empowered wall of fire right on that line <laughs> um sorry 60 so she's going to place a 60 foot wall of fire fire creating almost like a funnel that's going to sort of force them into do di two directions to make it much easier for the soldiers to like lay down concentrated fire um as it's going to push the undead in a certain direction she's going to use her commander's die to use arcane um I think, yeah, um, to embolden this spell and encourage the other spellcasters to sort of follow suit. Um, that's a 19, so nice. you're back to plus zero instead of plus minus five. Perfect, Odendra gets to do it right. <laughs> she was inspired by you. She had to go and step up her game. Inspired by, no, out of spite. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got your memory back, you're like, yeah, I know, I don't <laughs> yeah. Let's see you. That is her turn, Moira. You're on the wall with the fellow soldiers. And they're not on me, my combat they're, spells They are haven't made it to the wall yet, no. They're... Yeah, my combat spells are either useless against zombies or involve me being in the middle of zombies, which I don't want to do yet. I think the first thing I'm going to do is try and beat Fulgrim at his own game. Was I, I rolled like a 27 on that last person check. I think just kind of, I'm trying to go and bolster their morale by just seeing me, you know, just so fucking zen about everything. And they're like, if, if she's confident about it and she gets angry with Ned, then you know, they're angry about everything. This is fine. We can do this. She has become Zen Moira. Mm. <laughs> 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 no? I was a die bitch. I was a of 22. Hey. Yeah. 22? Very yes. good. So you've got a plus 10 now. Woo! Uh, which is an exceptional command result. What would you like to do for your player action? Probably you can just... hold stuff, you can wait until they're closer. I mean, the Un Umbravar is 120 feet away now and gaining quickly, so. I mean, I, 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 I lose nothing by just bursting out the Spirit Guardians now and holding that, so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go out on a whim and say you're not going to harm your allies that are yeah no can't do that it's anyone i consider an enemy but anyone i consider friendly or neutral is fine very good is that your turn so yeah that's my turn um i don't have no one is dying yet so my cantrips bonus action is not needed serious can i can i hold a bonus action uh, no, I don't believe so. Oh, cool. Fine. You don't get if you don't ask. Please. Absolutely. We're all going to be eaten by zombies. How about that? <laughs> it's people's birthdays. Girl, Larry needs to go and have her cake. Yeah. <laughs> and eat it too. Um... So, Zarius is on the wall. Um, I think... Um, so, I, I'm going to do my con command dice first. So I am going to go for the catapults 
um, trying to uh, increase the area of effect damage, um, which will be very much kind of um, from his vantage point, looking back inwards into the, the fortress, just like um, noticing some like little things that could like fine tune, just like, okay, you know, pull that one a little bit more tighter, move that one a little bit more because they're, they're going to be coming in at this angle, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, just trying to kind of maths it so that um, they, they can be as effective as possible. And I will roll my dice. Okay, well, it's not the best on the dice, but um, is intelligence okay? Yeah, you can choose ch intelligence, wisdom, or charisma. Intelligence modifier, um, definitely the best. Um, that is 15. 15, bang on for a plus five Ooh. to create a plus 15 to your D100. Sweet. Um, and then for my action, I will cast um, Crystal Shard at first level, um, which um, for Zerius, um, a kind of um, apparatus appears on his shoulder that's a bit like a kind of rail gun and it will literally just um, uh, like hyper accelerate a, a shard of crystal uh, and it, its range is 120 feet so I would like to snipe at Umbravor with my <laughs> piddly little crystals <laughs> um, it's literally just a ranged spell attack so I'm going to do that take your shot I will That's not the thing. I'll just roll it. <laughs> uh, t t 12. 12 does not hit. I didn't think it would. Uh, boo. Okay, well, that's well, that's my action. I cast a spell. I don't have... I don't really... I don't think I've really got any bonus actions um, that are going to be helpful, so... That's that's my lot, I think. Yeah. Strong round, all of you. Getting in these setup points, Amaryllis. Uh, <clears throat> I will do my command to start with. I think mm -hmm. I'll go with supply. Yeah, okay. that totally makes sense. Yeah. Uh, I'll roll that with intelligence. Again, sort of like going right down this there, next to there. Uh, that is a. Well, with Nat 20, that's a 24. Oh! Yes. I'm the motherfucking intern, folks. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> I get one single pip put on my shoulder and I'm like, yeah. I need to get another page up just for you. <gasps> for me? Just for you. <laughs> it just says go? Tom is a very special boy. <laughs> and I'm like, thank <laughs> you. I'm also a little skeleton. So those who are listening to the podcast, I'm just as a skeleton. Cause... Oh, there, there was you a... probably have to yeah. stand up to show, because like, just the way that the videos get cropped, it's probably been cropped out most of the time. <laughs> there you go. Oh, it's a full-on onesie. Okay, I thought it was just pyjamas. Oh, it's no. pyjamas. I'm wearing, like Great. like you get when you're a card. I've bought adult <laughs> skeleton pyjamas, just in case I need to be a little skilly bones. Your display dis distribution is flawless. You gain a plus 10, so you're currently on 25. Beautiful. Great. But all defenders gain temporary hit points equal to their level and advantage on constitution saving throws against undead abilities for the next yes. minute. Oh my nice. god, that should be useful. So basically the entire combat. It's very specifically against undead, but that's great because the only thing yeah. you're fighting is undead. <laughs> Um, which so, which which command was that? Uh, that that was, was supply. supply. Do we need to try and max all of them? Is that what is that what we're doing now? We're aiming for twenties on all of those options. <laughs> it's not a terrible idea. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it does feel like we filled up a bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This has become you... the, the game now. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I I could describe this, but I feel like I should give it to you. How do you want Amaryllis to look? Because this is this is this is like almost a perfect payoff for you, in a sense of like anybody who even considered thinking any less of you. 
is about to be proved very fucking wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I look down at Fulgrim and I'm like, yeah, you tried to throw me off the wall. Now look at me. Uh, <laughs> I, I know it's it's slightly broken that, you know, message is a single action, but Amaryllis leaps up onto her little step and is just cut, and just so succinctly is like, right, I know it to hit that person, that person. Just such sort of like, almost like speaking in code, being like, right, you need that there, that there. And sort of like also knowing like, okay, so <laughs> Barry... <laughs> Barry's scared, and so it's like, right, uh, deliver the water. You get, you've got this, Barry. <laughs> you know, just a little like, you know, for what having had a marshal being like, basically, don't fuck this up. To actually now have a voice going, yeah, we got this. You know, I know you. I know you by name, and I know what you care about. So yeah, just bang, 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 and then just watching it, just a perfectly working machine. And I'm like, well, whatever happens, I did that. That's something. And then for your action. Right, okay, so, um, I'm not going to say I'm going to waste this, because that's not the plan, but I think I also have something that wishes a wisdom spell. If it works, great, it's a concentration, but if it then it's like, this is super, super wise, I can at least tell the magic users. So, um, folks uh, who have watched Amorous before, I'm bringing back her old final trick. <laughs> As again, the book flip and it's an ink drawing of amaryllis like casting up pulling and like the specter of death traveling across and this great sort of like this just person going ah at, and then because the, the specter like disappears i'm casting phantasmal killer Ooh. on on umbravore um you hear the book go now this is what i'm talking about <laughs> oh yeah oh, i'm back baby <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, can, uh, can <laughs> this horrible beast, uh, can you roll me a wisdom saving throw, please? I certainly can. That, that's a 19. Uh, unfortunately, that does, that does succeed. That was, yeah. Uh, oh, 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 hold on, oh. hold on. Nora, uh, Nora. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to force Umbra Vore to re-roll with my chronal shift. Okay. It was about 20. Uh, <laughs> uh, must use the result of the second roll. Four of 30. <laughs> okay. <books> of... <laughs> oh. <laughs> Interesting. Good to good. Well, again, useful for us to know. Uh, I just go, it's very wise. Don't do not do wisdom stuff. I don't know what that in world. It's like, it's it's got a strong mind. Focus, don't focus on that. Um, good to know. Yeah. I look down and the book is now showing and we're just being chewed up by the enemy. I'm like, rude, very, very rude. <laughs> flip, flip forwards. Um, yeah. So that that was at fourth level. So still got fifth in my pocket. Um, cool. Yeah. Very hey, do you remember good. when I got that nat twenty earlier? That was impressive. <laughs> Great times. Good times. The last you're getting. <laughs> it's downhill from here. Sorry, sorry um, to to quickly inter interject, Mike, but I did realise um, I should have had an advantage on that attack because of Zimora's yeah. doodad. Take a shot. Take a shot. If Go you do it. not mind, I will just No, 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 please. I forgot my own doodad. <laughs> yeah, never mind. It's a natural one. Oh, thank you. What should we do? <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? I guess I'll die. If you had, advantage, die. If you had advantage, then the natural one is negated, yeah, right? That's the extra one. Stop. I'll allow it. <laughs> um, Nora or Nat, depending on whom. Can you roll me Nat, the... <laughs> Nat, Can you no. roll me That's a D100 for the outcome? <gasps> Plus 25 for your Ooh, soldiers. Okay. Come on, roll together, dice. You've got this. Look after us. Come on. Uh, that's a 52 on the dice. That takes it up to a 77. Okay. 77. 
77 against a 28. Hey. Oh, okay. Are you rolling a d100 as well? Mm -hmm. Thank God. I have my own little money bonuses and modifiers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So this is it's a versus system um, of the d100. You stack up your either benefits or negatives, depending on how well you do. I will stack up on my end my negatives and benefits, and then mm -hmm. we versus it out. <laughs> Great. Flash forward to the talk together. What the hell? <laughs> Why did they get benefits? It's, like, it's only fair. It's like it's not. <laughs> not. not at all. There's four of us, and you know, Fulgrim and Odendra. Yeah. Well, Fulgrim. Uh... <laughs> Play nice. <laughs> I'll push you down again. <laughs> Just because you got that twenty. <laughs> So, amidst the onslaught of these Elvrich, Elvrich, I don't know what's going on with my pronunciation. It's gone Elven now. It's been like <laughs> intriguing. Um, amid, oh no, amidst, no, in the <laughs> onslaught. <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> just given up. <laughs> of the Eldritch infused undead, the ballista bolts pierce the air with lethal precision, finding their mark among the advancing horde. The catapults unleash a barrage of devastating projectiles, carving through the undead ranks and creating pockets of chaos. Archers on the wall release a relentless volley of arrows, their keen aim finding vulnerable, vulnerable points in the, in the undead masses. And at the end of the versus round, um, this would also activate Nora's slow spell as the undead have now reached the um, 120 feet point. As all they can do is charge. Great. So assuming that now they're kind of being funneled in by uh, Adendra's like wall of fire, I'm imagining like a, like a big funnel towards the walls. So they kind of have to narrow down. I'm aiming for the front six, hoping that the front six will then slow down the rest behind that will either have to like scrabble over them or push past them and it'll slow everyone down like dominoes. Hopefully. Uh, could they make me wisdom saving throws, please? Uh, we have a three, a five, a, a fail. eleven. Fail. Eleven. Fail. Fifteen. Fail. Eight. Fail. Yeah. I think the second time you were like ridiculously effective with that spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's super effective. Uh, great. So those six take minus two to their AC and deck saving throws. Can't use reactions. They can only use an action or a bonus action, not both. And if they have multiple attacks, they can only use one melee or ranged attack during its turn. And more importantly, you see a big clog of undead just crashing into each other as the, all the pace has just been taken out of them. And it's like a big sail has just been put up as they just slam into it. And you can see them all bound, piling up, almost begging to be fireballed. <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> It's not my turn yet. <laughs> no, but Fulgrim is going to notice this as well and um, order the archers to rain fire down on the um, sort of choke point that Nora's created on the battlefield um, with a 13. So it's not helping, but it's certainly not making things worse. Fulgrim. Getting better. Well done, Fulgrim. He's trying. Not making things he, worse. He, I mean, he has stood on a massive tower holding a sword and shield and just sort of like waiting. So you feel like he might come into his own later. One better than me. I've only got the shield and a fist. Um, I think at this point he's going to... I 
He's just going to hold off again. There's not a right lot else he can do at the moment. Nora. Great. Take the um, lead. So, uh, knowing that uh, the Umbra of Aura is probably too wise to fall for my one fifth level Sable Suck spell, um, I will probably. I'm going to use that fifth level spell slot to Fireball. Ooh. Um. So, and I'm going to aim for behind the six that are slowed. Because mm -hmm. they're, they're helping the wall. So I want to take out the stuff that's behind them. Uh, so however many I can fit in a, a tw 20, 20 foot radius sphere behind that. Oh, like 50? 50? 5 zero. Yeah. Okay. I mean, there are thousands running at you, so... Yeah. And, uh, I mean, you, you could even, with that, you could get them, and you could even get the tail end of um, Umbra Brawl. Oh, yeah, would. baby. Let's do it. Yeah? Let's do it. So, uh, I'm not rolling 50 dice. Yeah, fair. Um, <laughs> Why not? So... I mean, I put it on Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes of Mike just rolling. <laughs> I'm going to offer up a solution to not rolling 50. Mm. I'm going to roll four dice and take the worst. Okay. Okay? Sure, sure. And then if they fail, we'll figure out the rest of that. But... Okay. We. I feel like that was pretty much there. That's a nat one. So they all fail. All of them fail. Um, including Umbravor? Um, Umbravor. Oh, yeah, she's there. Yeah. Hello, Ed. Rolls a... A 15 dexterity saving throw. I mean, that's pretty dexterous for a big, like, warbin, shadowy creature, but uh, not dexterous enough. So... Uh, I will then use a legendary resistance. Mm. Uh, of course you will. Burn it, burn them. Good point, yeah. Uh. Mm -hmm. That's relatively disappointing for uh, for 10d6, but uh, I suppose it's better than average. Um, so that's going to be 39 points of fire damage to... I, they're still <laughs> dead. <laughs> <laughs> How would you like this horrific... Fireball, honestly, in my entire career as a DM, probably one of the most effective killing fireballs I've ever seen. Great. I mean, to be, I, how how many times as a player do you get 50 zombies all packed into a 20-foot sphere, though? Like, so many experience points for you. Not <laughs> <laughs> Just raining. Low west, low west. <laughs> Nora just levels up twice before we. What? Give me that level six spell slot. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, I, she's obviously got the slow on the front, and then she pulls um, pulls another little strip from um, her her gauntlet, and um, and rolls it into a ball, which she then kind of. It's almost like she looks like she's about to cast Firebolt because it kind of sets a flame in her hand, this tiny little ball of paper, um, but then looks like it's about to explode, but is uh, but time is slowed on this exploding moat. And, and she kind of just flings it towards, and it shoots and shoots and shoots um, beyond the slowed zombies. And then kind of lands, and I think it's that um, again that cinematic like you expect it's it's not done anything, but then the the time slow on the little exploding moat stops, and suddenly it's just like a boom. Very good. Very very, um, very very good. And then as my commander's dice, mm. I'll, I'll tell the wizards on wall to do same, please. Copy that. <laughs> you can Captain. see Falia um, wielding the um, staff of Fireball yes. in her hands. <laughs> yes, now is the time. <laughs> you 
just see them aim at Zen Moira and then go, no, no, okay. <laughs> like no. the other way. Above my head. <laughs> aim behind the wall of slowed zombies. All uh, right, so plus five. Uh, that is a 19 Ooh. for my commander's dice on our Very, game. very good. So plus five. So we're on plus five now. Thus endeth my turn. Very good. It is now on Bravo's turn. And it does not look happy. It is going to blast its way through the wall of flat fire and just walk straight through it. Um, okay. Taking... Oh, 20. A casual 20. A casual 20. And it is now only 40 foot away from the wall. Okay. Maths. Um, We're still spewing zombies. It seems to be. Um, it's a relatively slow amount, though. But as you're kind of studying this, you know it's, it's the zombies and undead stop being produced and it bulges. And it bulges, and then it creates a wave of shadow and crackling eldritch that extends from itself, and it's almost like it throws up this shadowed energy and blasts it all over the wall and you can see as it's blasting this huge storm like a wave zombies are falling out of it and slamming against the shields and the wall some are managing to break through and landing on the wall and inside of the fortress but first i need everybody to make me a strength Saving for it. Oh, no. Uh, no, thank you. As you are all in its range. 13 for me. 13. 17. 17. Very lucky dice, 14. 14. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. And a 1. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, that's Aww. not part of the plan. <laughs> That's what the right dice rolled. I don't. Nobody. Either. Nobody passes. Great. No. You all take. That wasn't a great roll, so that's okay. Good for us. <laughs> you all take 28 points of necrotic. Ooh. 28 wasn't a great roll. Oh, I'm resistant to. No, it was not a great roll. Oh, what, what damage was it? Uh, necrotic. Oh, I am also resistant to necrotic. Very good. Half yeah, yeah, yeah. For unknown oh. reasons. Just... <laughs> okay. Uh, hmm? for... uh, it's part of my be having been plagued. <laughs> I was plagued. Hmm. And just for extra Got inconvenience, better. if you so wish to move, you're all knocked pro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Cool. Yeah, Spirit Guardians is still up. So, nice. because I only, I did not <laughs> want to do that. That would be fun. Not fun. Just double checking because it wasn't showing up on the resistances bit, but the uh, the sign of the outer planes means that I do have resistance to necrotic damage as well. But, I mean, resistance to necrotic is something that's really handy for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a necromancer, and I don't... I can, I can regain hit points from killing with it, unless they're the undead. <laughs> and then they're just like, you don't get to heal. And then you just do it again, like re bring them back. Sorry, I need hit points. Sorry, I just... <laughs> <laughs> Revivify just to get hit points, yeah. It is. I'm more or less it might be time. To to fully detonate the spell. Well before we all die. <sighs> You're the boss boss. What do we need to do? Go downstairs. 
<laughs> Amaryllis is just going to jump down. It's not my turn, I know, but you can see Amaryllis is tempted to jump straight, but no. Yeah. It is now Odendra's turn. Um, she looks, raises an eyebrow, almost in question of, am I coming? Or do you, would you like, are you waiting for the rest of your crew? Is Randall House just down in, in the... Randall House is down there still, yeah. Yeah, but Celine is not. Mm -mm. No. no. If Celine can't make it in time, then it'll have to be you. Okay. <laughs> she nods right. and turns and um, she's concentrating on that. She'll quickly do... Oh, you did do your commander role. She'll, she'll do her commander role and... Hearing commando roll, and I'm just thinking this is a really bad idea to do on a wall. <laughs> and it's also like because we're prone, we're just like sausage rolling down the. Like... I don't know why, but I find that really inspiring. Folks, Nat has actually seen me have to sausage roll after I fell off a zip line and just rolled to the end. It was mm. very impressive. It was athletic. <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, she's going straight for command. I think. Beautiful. Oh, well, damn. That's... Nine. Oh, Dendra. Oh, Dendra. Um, she sort of orders a couple of things off, sending this these pieces of information, but doesn't wait to receive them and comes straight downstairs with you, or, like, heads downstairs ahead of you, um, but doesn't sort of stick around to hear the responses, which sort of kind of breaks the um smooth um communication see so you're making this my fault mm -hmm. there's Another a chain reason of on the list the blame there's a chain of command doctor and you <laughs> jumped up <laughs> it. um and that will be her turn She's going to hold her action um, on the font and prepare for when she is informed of what to do next. Moira. Cool. Um, are there other people who might be injured around me? Right now, the wall hasn't taken... Oh, yes, actually, that's a complete... Uh, most, there are a lot of people very dead very 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 dead at this point um after taking such a nasty hit from um, um Revolt, um in the case of this sort of damage there's not really a very much you can do about it anyone unconscious no dead and damn it i need can one of them be unconscious <laughs> <laughs> you know it's a treat Oh, come on, don't let the Grave Cleric do fun Grave, grave Cleric things. Let them roll a d20. Yeah, it's necrotic damage. Their souls have just been ripped to pieces. Yeah, but if they're unconscious, that's Someone easy. Someone could have fallen and hit their head. You know? You'll have to wait for the zombies to breach the wall. and that, I mean, there are, to be fair, there are soldiers fighting the zombies and undead that have come through with this tidal wave of necrotic energy so you certainly could find one of those who may be injured or unconscious i just need people within 60 feet of me so i can do a mass hit bonus action healing spell go for it there are soldiers that are sort of but at this point the numbers are on the soldier's side like it's three soldiers to each undead creature and they are dispatching them relatively efficiently and cleaning up the um breach I think I just don't want to waste a spell on myself. And I think it's my only bonus action healing is actually a mass spell. All right, I'm going to cast mass healing word because that's what I've got as a bonus action. So I get five other allies within 60 feet of me. If they're unconscious, they get the full health without having to roll the dice if they're generally injured they get the dice um so i'm gonna cast it at 
Damn it, I need the health a uh, third level, I need it myself. Quite badly. I can do math. And I can do math quickly. Honest, I promise. Hmm. Uh, 11 points of healing. That will pull up a lot of the soldiers and give them that extra sort of like revitalization they need to kind of crack on and fight more as a lot of them return back to the wall. Disappointingly, a lot of the soldiers are just husks left behind from this horrific attack from Umbravar, but you can at least feel achievement in the ones that you did save. Fantastic. What what did Vinny get a 20 in? Which command did... Uh, that was... Bottom one. Command. Uh, command. Yeah. Uh, supply. Supply, yes. Supply. Right. Fantastic. Oh, supply, sorry. Okay. You have many choices. I think I'm going to go do the same thing. I think just with as the healing gets people, the people are kind of able to start moving around and giving each other some more support. So I'm just going to... Absolutely. Um, roll for that and... Hope, the, hope this is a good one. This is a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That is a 19. A 19. Yeah. Bring it back up to a plus five. And, and then with my action, I am going to hold and eyes of the grave on Umbravor for when he moves within 30 feet of me. And that will then trigger the, f the first actual attack on him. He is vulnerable, regardless of what his stats say, he is vulnerable to any of that attack. Okay. Is there a saving throw attached to it or just... No. Nope. It's just tapping's. Very good, very good. So, yeah, hold that, and then knowing that he is faster, with, especially if I have to get up, I am going to stand up and start moving to where people need me. Mm -hmm. You probably want to start moving yourself more towards where the staircase is, where you can either get onto a tower or get down on back onto the fortress floor. Xerius. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> mm-hmm. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so Umbravor is uh, 40 foot away. Yes. And um, there are some zombies nearby. Maybe not many, but... They're just behind Umbravor, and then you've got one or... Yeah, you've got a couple. But... Um, I'll give you this for free. You're mm -hmm. pretty confident the soldiers have got no issue in picking them off. You mm -hmm. know, a couple of soldiers with um, bow and arrows and the walls can turn, shoot a couple down, and then a couple of, like, um, non-Vanguard soldiers and runners, like Amaryllis' team, could literally fly by and knock one off um, as they're moving across. You know, then it mm -hmm. doesn't seem to be causing too much issue. Well, while, while there are some kind of within range of Umbravor as well, um, I would like to, at third level, cast Shatter. Oh, yeah. Now, I'm I'm going to put this to you, because obviously I don't know what Umbravor is made of, but it does say a creature made of inorganic material such as stone, crystal, metal, shadow, uh, has disadvantage on the saving throw. Um, but that is a constitution saving throw. Hey. Hoping as a creature of su substance, not particularly substantial. So I've got a 19 or a 9. So 9, that makes it a 19. Yeah, my, my DC is 17. So uh, that is going to pass, but still takes 4, I think. Yeah, because I upcast it 48 on a save. Oh, that's still a nice, nice bit of damage. Does the grave i think kick off now for the it's where it's when when it enters 30 feet when it enters right. 30 feet essentially that's not actually going to be many people that can hit it it's going to... so if, if anyone is 
wants to hold a turn until after Umbravor moves, they'll be able to take advantage of that, or it's going to be Odendra or me, because it ends at the end of my next turn. Is it, is it just... Because part of the reason I, I didn't hold that is because I thought someone else would be able to do more damage when your spell goes off. Yeah, I mean, one, one of the wizards could probably do a boss-ass amount of damage on that. Yeah. Um, all right, well, I am going to roll my my d8. Uh, that is 27 points of damage, mm. so um, half that, 13. Um. And as a bonus action, um, I am going to use um, uh, one of, where did I see it? My uh, defensive field. Um, so kind of there's uh, on, it, on his armor, just kind of taps a sigil and um, I get seven temporary hit points as a kind of uh, sinic shield just um, covers me. And then for my command, um, I've talk to the catapults i'd now like to talk to those uh the, the soldiers manning the ballistas mm. um so again similar thing just like calculating best um angles of uh of attack and um you know just just making slightly minute adjustments to hopefully um optimize them and that is 23. 23. Very good. 18, 18 on the dice. 23. Bringing it up to a fifth plus 15. Very good. And that's everything on my turn. Amaryllis. I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with the commander. Just yeah. get it done. Um I and actually I'm gonna go with command. I think that they could probably do with a bit of bit of encouragement and just like just don't die um i do not yeah just it's good advice for don't good. die is half the soldiers are looking yeah. at their best friends who's it's like a grotesque <laughs> yeah don't don't do that <laughs> you see that <laughs> that's a really no no <laughs> uh, okay uh so i roll my intelligence uh that is a well it's a 17 that's that's fine <laughs> really good it's just occurred to me if um if Umbravor is going to have to like breach the wall a little bit to be in range of the spell, then is it worth telling if you're commanding them? Is it worth telling all of the soldiers on that bit of the wall to GTFO? That's what I do. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> you know, cast it to that. We're going to let that bit of the wall come so we can banish it, clear out, shift uh, your ass, shift, shift your ass, protect your protect your buddies. So hope, watching as they sort of drag. <laughs> Hopefully. Very good. That makes your D100 a 20. Plus 20. Wonderful. Um, Action. Yes. Um, I think I will... Just having a look at... <laughs> I'm like, how about doing some necrotic damage, Aaron and Rillis? You keep going back to it. There's also people you could revive from the dead. And I'm just like, no, no, that's, 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 that. that's not how I roll. Um... I, I think I it's almost sort of like cast over Amaryllis's shoulder as she hurries to go down to get to the font. Um, I'm just going to cast a firebolt at Amaravor. Uh, yeah, roll to hit. <laughs> just, you just see it going, Bee! Uh That is a plus nine. Uh, uh, dirty 20 to hit. Definitely hit. <laughs> uh, it takes uh, 11 points of fire damage. It's just Nice little bot. And then, yeah, I I hurry down. <laughs> I'd like, because I was prone, it's almost like I was doing it while I was lying down. It's like, eh. And then, yeah, I, I, hurry, I hurry down the ladder to go be with Nora. Um, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not down yet. I'm still lying down on the top of the tower. <laughs> oh, Dendra's it happened down. After, yeah, it's a Dendra that went down. It, it happened oh, after Dendra. my turn. Okay, I then... <laughs> I scuttle over and then I'm like, I'm going down. Okay, see you down there. <laughs> scuttle, scuttle, scuttle. Yeah. Amaryllis, if you have a healing potion, I remember it, we were all given healing potions. If you have spare actions have... of a bonus variety, <laughs> it might be a good time to take one. <laughs> you hear the... 
<laughs> Positively healthy. What are you on about? <laughs> Look, Avarice, Avarice is uh, uh, she's lost a tooth already. It's, it's uh, yeah. Uh, so that's uh, forty-four plus four. Uh, thank you, for, thank you for probably I saving the just life of your. I remembered myself, and I was like, <laughs> uh, that is uh, that is eleven points of healing. As a yeah, on a greater. Uh, forty-four plus four. Boom. Oh. It is now versus with a plus 20. Talia, can you mm. roll the D100 for me, please? Mm. Yes. Ninety-seven. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Yes. Well, I thought you were gonna struggle because I got seventy-five. Did you roll a 97, or was that with the plus? Oh, no, without the pluses. This is so old, a 97. Incredible. So, 117. Yeah. People's souls go back in their bodies. <laughs> I'm not going to let them die. Kalembo says no. Kalembo says no. Kalembo says no. Even Jurgle just turns up and is like, I'm back, you're come back to life. Oh, gosh. <laughs> So, um, almost as if maybe you'd forgotten slightly, but especially effective this round, beneath the wall's shadow, where you just can't, can't quite see, unseen wards and mines detonate with arcane brilliance, sending shockwaves through the undead ranks. Simultaneously, spiked traps concealed in the cavern's approach reveal themselves, impaling the vanguard of the undead advance. The ground trembles with the force of these concealed defences, momentarily slowing the relentless march, yet the undead do press forward, undeterred by the defence, especially this effective one. But you hold them off. Look, you go. Okay, okay. The undead at this point have hit the wall. They are just not assailing it yet. So, it is now poor Fogrim. Um, Fogrim is going to use his movement and that um, action movement to head down to the wall. This is where he's going to shine, and he's going to go and join the soldiers as the, the undead have met the wall using soldiers. That's an 11, so zero, and that is his turn, which is probably for the best. Nora! <laughs> he needs to just... Uh, well, just to the, the remaining um, mages that are on the walls, uh, keep up the assault. Hopefully it won't last much longer, by the way. Uh, I'm gonna invoke the arcane commander's dice again. Put the. Ooh, okay, uh, that's a 21. 21! Plus 10. Uh, it's a, it's a non nat 20, to be fair. Oh, it's still a plus 10. Anything above 20 okay, is great, exceptional. Great, great, great. Just didn't get the super effective super special super effects. Effect. Pop off. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, great. And then she's going to scrabble to her feet, swigging, uh, a great uh, healing potion as well and i'm gonna head downstairs i don't know um you, you said it was quite far wasn't it down the stairs <laughs> or it's 90 foot it? yeah so, okay but um you can reach the very bottom of it because you could skip steps going down i can slide <laughs> slide <laughs> just the helter skelter on the inside um if i reach yeah, if I've reached the bottom then, assuming that because Odendra and Amaryllis went ahead of me and both used their... Oh no, Amaryllis did Firebolt, right? Yes. So you... Odendra to... has linked with and held action. Great. Uh, Randall House is doing it already, right? Because that's all... Randall House, all, you all need to act... Uh, so you need to speak to Randall House and then I'm going to roll Randall House into initiative at the start of the 
uh, next turn. Right, to, at the start of the fair, next I, turn. I think I would have been shouting Randall House as I was running down the stairs, so I don't know. Did, does, does Nat still need to... Come on, Randall House. I was kind of hoping Randall House yeah. would be primed and ready to yeah. go as soon as we turned up. Because oh, well, hopefully we got... can punch this oh. on Amaryllis' turn. Yeah. Well, why, why would you think that from you? anything we know about him? Yeah. Randall House <laughs> them. rolled a yeah. natural 20. Yes, uh, Randall House! <laughs> for their um, initiative. So they're in this round, technically above you. So yes, they are linked with the... <laughs> Good work. I would have been furious. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Randall House has just got a book. He's like, oh, but it's very good. <laughs> what have you been doing? Smoking a pipe? Get in there! <laughs> Actually, yes. <laughs> a pipe. <laughs> Sticking out up, the end of their trunk. Just... <laughs> holds up like a little, like, figure. It's like, I've been putting together my toy. Uh, I'm very quickly going to roll my, my 44. Uh, 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 that's shit. Uh... Great. Uh, that's nine hit points mm. back oh. on, out of a possible uh, 20 there. Great. Um, no worries, no worries, no worries. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Uh, and yeah, Nora will, will fly down the stairs and <laughs> nearly like slam into the crystal and just like immediately start like sigils, casting, prep. Let's go. Let's be ready. So I'm just double checking now. Hilariously, uh -uh. I left something out on the homebrew spell. Uh -uh. You no. do we need to have line of sight? And now, yes, but it's not written on there, so you don't have to follow those rules. <laughs> does, somebody, does somebody need line of sight? There's nothing. Because I on my read. spell card that says it literally just says range I, 60 foot I can walk I, I don't, was just thinking yes yeah, I don't need I don't need I, I'm blind and deaf but yeah so either way it would be fine but I'm not playing those sort of games if if I'm the one that's missed it then <laughs> you you're the ones that benefit then get Mal on the case anyway because we want to mm. make sure we hit it at the optimum time this is true. Unless the book's like, nah, I changed my mind, mate. Yeah. <laughs> nah, because you're letting the book play. It's going to yeah. be fine. Yeah. And you're in control, Amaryllis. I sure am. Yeah. <laughs> I twitches. <clears throat> is there anything else you'd like to do on your turn, Nora? Uh, I don't think I can. That's no. action. Your, right bonus action. Command. You're, you're set in. You've done your command dice. We're on a plus ten. It is now Umbravor's turn. Yep. I'm going to see if its necrotic wave will recharge. It does not. Great. Good. <laughs> Why do you look so offended, Tom? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm offended that you even considered. <laughs> <laughs> Is so moving he's within... going to move towards the wall, so your eyes of the grave activate, Moira. Mm -hmm. And then it is going to slam into the wall, and it is classed as a siege monster. So it is going to attempt to break down the wall and release the horde into the fortress. Anything that gets coming, is coming past me is getting hit by my spirit guardians. Roll to maintain concentration when I got hit before. Uh, it was right. like 20, 20 something? No, 14 points of damage, right? That I took because it was halved. Uh, con save. Oh, yeah, I'm fine. So the wall holds on the first attack. But on the second attack, it creates a... Um, Moira, you have to launch yourself away um, to one side and all the soldiers begin to break away as a hole is blasted through 
the um, the wall. Basically, for um, for reference, it has blasted it in the far um, bottom corner of um, just above the Stone Heart Tower. Okay. Um, opposite the Vigil Tower. Okay. Uh, although the undead are suffering horrifically from all the wards and traps, um, they will start funneling into the fortress. Not all of them, though, to be fair. <laughs> There's only like 800. It's you know. most. I mean, remember, the six at the front are still slow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really important for a bit. Do you, <laughs> really do you mind moving? Do you might so you just need, need, need to come through. <laughs> Odendra is satisfied with the plus ten. Is satisfied with how the how it's going outside as well because she doesn't know anymore because she's inside of the tower with you. She's going to hold her action and that is going to be her turn, holding on to the um, true banishment for Nora and Amaryllis. Moira, it is your turn. You've just been. You've just like sort of taken this big blast and thrown yourself to the floor, got yourself back up. Um, the wall has been breached at this point, and you're sort of quite near it. Fine. I wanted to be on the ground. Anyway, are there... What's it looking in the, on the floor ground space between where it's happening and the Marshall Tower where everybody else is? The undead haven't made it to get through yet. They're on the outside. They haven't made it through as, as of right now. Okay. The hole's been made. They haven't capitalised on it yet. Cool. I want to put myself... Because I, I need a bit of space from Umbervor for my attack. What I need to do to him because it's... I'm using Path of the Grave is now all it's gone. So I'm going to go and move myself in the way of some of the zombies so that I can lawn mower them. Are you going to jump off? Because if you try to walk around, you won't have enough movement. Um, spider climb down? Yeah, absolutely. That solves that problem. Yeah. Thank you, Dampirism. It's giving me some useful things. <laughs> and yeah, so getting ready for that. Um, and then for my action, I would like to... Se second level, I guess. Second level for. I say fourth level. Why not fourth level? Do it. Fourth, a uh, fourth level guiding bolt. Ooh. On Umbervor. Which, if it hits, he will be vulnerable. As well, that's a whole bunch. So. He'll be Umber vulnerable. <laughs> he'll be Umber vulnerable, and that is. Fucking natural 20, bitch. Oy. Yes! Triple, so, triple damage. Yes! That's Incredible. so many dice. I'm going to get to you for time and efficiency on how much damage there is and move into the commander dice, which is the pure amount of inspiration given to the team based on that. <laughs> So a guiding bolt is basically hit here. So I'm going to call that a command, which is be where I am and hit there. <laughs> so you're going to stack up on the hole, but where the open hole is on the wall. Yeah, stack Just... there and basically making sure that, oh, intelligence-based wizards are kind of protected as much as possible. Mm -hmm. a... Do you want to roll your d20? For that one? I am. That is... You know, you'll never guess it. Never. You'll never guess it. <laughs> Another natural 20. Yeah. That ah. is super command. Columbo <laughs> says yes. Columbo says yes. <laughs> Turns to the other gods. Bloody hate the undead. We're like, we know Columbo. We know. <laughs> <laughs> and you used command. I was panicking so much beforehand, guys. This is like the best round of my life. Hey, Lafanda, look. <laughs> and honestly, this, this one, this one right here survives. Yeah, Command, <clears throat> tactical guidance has the best natural twenty outcome, in my opinion. 
The commander's strategic brilliance shines until the start of the next round. All defenders gain an additional action on their turn. Incredible. Wild. Fantastic. I've run out of D6s. <laughs> the fact that you're doing this manually after multiple times through yeah. this campaign, you've screamed, I'm shit at maths. I respect so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not actually shit at maths. I'm just shit at math fast. Oh, All right. Fair enough. Pa paladin maths here. I know you're cleric. <laughs> paladin maths. Again, yeah. So that is technically a uh, 21 dice I need to roll. Oh, <laughs> oh shut up. <laughs> So, I swear to God, if you take this, went, oh, a second level or a fourth? Oh, Umbra Four just explodes, and we're like, oh, because yeah. guess we didn't need the spell. <laughs> Don't need to banish any money. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm a lecturer. I need. To, I, I do need to be decent. I'm at three more. Is... Mike quietly adds forty more HP. <laughs> <laughs> so eighteen plus twenty-seven plus eighteen plus twelve in radiant damage. Hang on. Uh, get eighteen twenty-seven be forty-five. 10, 20, Thirty. Eighteen plus. 50, 60, 68, 50, 75. Again, I'm good at math. Once I'm not. Once I'm able to get started. Seventy-five points of radiant damage on on before. Praise Flemvel. Very good. Is is that including the the grave uh, vulnerability? That's, to that's it? including the, the extra seconds of the vulnerability. Yes. Nice. Fantastic turn. Paladin math. I say cleric math. Thank you. Yeah. There is. You're up. Oh, um, I, I briefly forgot that um, I was going to have to do things. <laughs> um, also in world you're just looking you're like hmm. you got another 70 odd points of damage in you um i've, I've got maybe a, a 17 odd probably not uh so that extra action does that that that's it including us is it it's the equivalent of a hasted action sweet okay haste but without the the downside yeah um okay well all right and you only get it for a single round. <laughs> yeah, but that's that's fine. Um, I'm going to get my um, boring bonus action stuff out of the way. Um, I'm going to uh, take the uh, greater healing potion as well. Um, so that is oh, fourteen points of healing for me, uh, which isn't too bad. Um, are there zombies on the wall, or are they just kind of trying to start p piling in? Um, right now, there's yeah, but they haven't actually hit the wall itself. Um, they're just outside of it. Mm. So right now, nothing is going over. But it looks like whatever Myra is getting up to, she's causing a lot of chaos in that little gap that's already been made. Um, so it's mm. up to you if you want to join her or look elsewhere. The thing is, I don't have a lot of... I'm very punchy, very stand on the wall and do my thing. Um, not so much on the thing, and I don't want to waste the guiding bolt. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to find if I've got stuff that isn't... Um, going to affect that. I feel quite... All right. I think I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick to the shatter for the moment. Um, it seems to be my best option. So uh, I'm gonna do third level again, mm -hmm. and um, just double. Oh, it doesn't really make. Yeah, yeah. Uh, third level shatter. One save in the pro. Uh, sorry, yes, Constitution saving throw, DC 17. 
That's a 12. <sighs> Including the modifier? Mm-hmm. No way. Then my second legendary resistant. I'm going to keep one in the bank. Yeah, this is a good point. And succeed. Um, I mean, if I can... Like, the, the best spell slots I have as an artificer slash cleric are level three. I don't even have any level three spells because of the martyr class. So if I can make you burn through your legendary resistances on my piddly little stuff, I am more than happy with that. Very smart. Absolutely. That is... Doesn't get any pluses, I don't think. No, it doesn't. Uh, so that's 14 on the dice, halved to seven. And still um, some damage to go with it. You burn and do a bit of damage. And as I've got an extra action... Um, I think it's going to... Ha- is it it's vulnerable to anything, even if it would normally be resistant? Is that is that right? With I think with if the it's resistant, it then becomes back to standard. Okay, it just goes to standard. Um I mean, is it close enough that I can punch it? If you ran through into sort of the warded fall, the no man's land. Which tough. Sorry? said hell of a story to tell that you punched yeah. you punched the shadow itself punch the shadow yeah you know what i get two attacks so i'm going to go and punch umbravel <laughs> no as you just blast through the shield wall that moira's made and just <laughs> just launch myself just thunder i I'm doing doing the the Thor thing from Ragnarok, just like leaping. Dun, 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 dun. Um, right, yeah. So that would be an uh, a punchy punch attack with my radiant thunder gauntlets. Oh come on, dice. Thirteen to hit. Thirteen does not hit. Second attack. Better. Twenty to hit. I hit. Mm. Sweet. Um, oh, I just realised I'm attacking it, and it's got and it's. Um, I don't, I've done exactly what I said I wouldn't do, but I've I've should have had an advantage because of the guiding oh, yes. on the, that I was first say, one. I was gonna say you have advantage. So shall we just count that as the the one then? Is mm-hmm. that fair? Thirteen and twenty. Um. Oh. So that makes it twelve points of thunder damage. Um. And can I get it to make a save, please, as well? Um, it's it. Oh, no. It doesn't make a save at all. Um, it has disadvantage on attack rolls against targets other than me. <laughs> because oh, I no. punched it. Oh, Zirius, you're so small. You're not I'm... small, but compared to Umbravo, you were so small. I have beef to me. Um, that is another 20 to hit. That hits. Um, and that's 11 points of thunder. Um, so yeah, oh, and command. Um, go, what have we not done? Um, I think I'm gonna go with uh, soldiers this time. Um, so, uh, just as I kind of run past any of the soldiers that are, um, fighting zombies, I think, you know. Punching undead is one of the few areas of expertise he has, so we'll literally just be kind of barking off commands as like um, vulnerable areas and like just trying to give a little bit of combat prowess. Um, so I will roll my d20. Okay, well, that's not, that's not, it's not a minus, uh, that's 14. Still on a plus 10. They, they probably get just like oh wait he no. he, he, he runs sorry sorry plus twenty not plus he he runs past them and it's just they they get that kind of oh, I think you should hear them <laughs> <laughs> don't hear them there you should get them. <laughs> <laughs> 
Did that guy just punch a shadow? (laughs) (laughs) Now, Amaryllis. Yes. It's your turn. Are you going to bring us home? Oh. I mean, it seems a shame not to use a second action, but you know what? I'm going. <laughs> I'm going to cast this. Pop your nose out. <laughs> <laughs> Open the door. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try a, a slightly. It's a, it's a weirder spell, but you know, considering I'm probably not going to cast any zombies. Um, so it's like two things happen. One, a tiny little owl <laughs> named after a succubus lord of hell takes off from Amaris's shoulder, takes up. Um, as it flies, sort of like in its shadow, something rises up. So 60 feet away from Amaryllis. It's tall. It's gaunt. It's wearing a like tattered tuxedo. To Amaryllis... Silver Meldata is the representation of death and coolness as I cast Spirit of Death. <laughs> as a version of Silver steps up, pulls out like a scythe, and it's like, yeah, I think I, think I can do this. So now I have a, I have a, I have a, I have a spiritual friend as well. Uh, and, and then Amaryllis will go back, <laughs> slam her hands in, and also whoop, blind as she just <laughs> walks into her little owl friend. She's like, yep, yeah, that's, that's, that's what's happening. Uh, so basically, my spirit of death is just going to slowly float up and uh, start attacking as many zombies as she can. Uh, it is, it is again, it's necrotic, but you know, damage is damage is damage. Uh, so and then she start healing. I'm blind and deaf. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, I mean, the the spirit is smart enough that if it starts healing, it could tell her to go and attack other things. Um, does uh, does the twenty six hit? Oh yeah, good. Uh, so that's a d eight of um, five points of necrotic on random zombie. It's going to be really do very much. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just happy that my friend's here. You know, I just, I just remembered she existed. I also remembered that she didn't come to my going away party, which I'm sure she was really busy. Uh, Twenty five hits and uh, nine points of necrotic again. It's, it's just that there's a ghostly thing that's having a great time. Yeah, because again, it's harder to hit a ghost, and I don't want to sacrifice people. But yes, Amaris is now blind, deaf, and just watch this is owl just circles. So we're just waiting for Umbravor to get within 60 feet, right? Because it's not within 60 feet right now. Or is it? It's not through the wall yet. It's so at it's... the wall, which I do believe meets the criteria. Should we do it? Pew pew! Pew pew. You go. Red button! Not, not that red button. No, no, the, not the other red button. <laughs> starting, starting with Amaryllis. Yes. Uh, I will make your spell saving DC. Uh, spell save is seventeen. Seventeen. That is a twenty. Uh, it's wisdom, is it not? Uh, yes. Doesn't it say charisma on the um... on on the spell. Let me double. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's my charisma, charisma on there. The right. targeted creature must succeed on a charisma saving throw from all four participants or be banished. So that makes it only a fifteen. Boom. Oh. So I'm going to have to burn my final legendary resistance and move on to Randall House. Come on, Randall House. But that's that's scuppered it already, right? A... Yeah, if I fail one more time, it's gone. Oh, I thought I thought it spell. had to fail all four of us to mm-hmm. be banished. Yeah, but if so it the legendary resistance from... It now needs to roll on the next person. If it can pass that one, it'll then move on to um Odendra. If mm-hmm. it passes that one, then it has to pass yours. So it only so it only needs to fail once. 
Yes, yeah. and it loses, but it has to pass four times. I see. It must succeed on right. all four. Yeah. yeah. Not that okay. it can't pass one. Cool. Okay. So it failed Amaryllis's, but used its final legendary resistance. So it is now Randall House's save, which is 16 for everybody. People's champion, Randall House. Come on. <laughs> That is a 13. Yes. As it begins to like bulge again, almost preparing to do that horrific necrotic shower over Moira and Zerius and all of your friends that you'd created in this space who had all rallied and at this point you can see Zarius started charging in and smashing against Umbravor but unintendedly all of the soldiers that were behind Zarius rally on him and just charge forwards to meet I'm I'm gonna let Moira if you want to join in as well as you all just push forwards and you're holding strong and then you see Almost like someone's taking jigsaw pieces out of Umbravor. These jigsaw pieces get taken one by one, one by one, as it slowly just dissipates down. As someone's packing away this creature, you hear it screeching and furious. It dissipates. Amarillus, blind and deaf, is screaming, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it, did it. Zerius so, yeah. just, just goes, did, did you see that? I punched a shadow to death. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely helped. <laughs> and you notice all the undead slop and drop dead as all control leaves them and all power dissipates with Umbra. You successfully rid the world of a multi-century siege that had taken thousands of heroes' lives over the years. Although bringing this I guess extra problem to this place, you managed to solve a much bigger problem. We're going to skip the small parts of the aftermath. Don't get me wrong, cheers are had, horns are rung, parties are had. But we're going to go to a point where the four of you stood with Odendra, Fogrim, Selene, Valia, and all the other soldiers as the gates are opened for the final time. Never to be sure. You all walk out. It's night time, but you breathe in the fresh air, no longer tainted and suffocated by the undead rotting meat. Is there anything you four would like to say to each other before we bring this story, this siege, to an end? First point of order, I would like to say that Nora did uh, back away from the ever-flowing font. Like, we're going to unattune from that pretty sharpish after gotcha. we don't need yeah. it anymore. <laughs> you need those brain cells. <laughs> I need those brain cells, thank you. <laughs> Although good to know, might experiment with it at a later point. What's the danger of like a tuning with mysterious objects? It's fine. Yeah, Experiments need to be had. They do. So, uh, now, now what? I mean, you got our memories back, I think. So, I assume we've got friends and family waiting for us out there, hopefully. I have work to do. 
and we'll look at uh look to Zarius, actually. You might be interested serious. in it. Not too serious. <laughs> <laughs> you might be interested, actually, if you're at a loss for other things to do for a while. I've been tinkering with uh, other magical items, and uh, I have a couple of automatons that might need someone to take a look at if that interests you. Hmm. I mean, uh, I have to say I was at uh, somewhat sort of at a loss, so... Uh... Yes, I think I would uh, take you up on that, if you could do with a travelling companion. No more catapulting, <laughs> except uh, upon request. We'll see if that ever comes in, in need again. Zimwira. I would very much like to say hello to Arkana again. At some point, I... I'll be frank, whatever she told you is probably true. But she struck me as uh, a very intelligent person. And someone I'd like to work with, if she'd willingly work with me. No hard feelings. Say a few good words. I don't know what over there, what desperation caused to happen, but I know here it did good things. Thank you. Oh, it was an honor to work, work with all of you. You are people I would have at my back. Not sure what to do now. What did you come here for in the first place? So our business. No, take that off your to-do okay. list. Mission accomplished. I wasn't doing any good just sitting away, watching, what? Well, immortality away. Might as well do some good with it. Sounds like you should go see those friends that you were uh, concerned about losing the memories of. Mm. So my family. Oh, fucking forgot. No. My mom makes like great bayonets. If anyone ever wants to come, mm. somewhere to hide away while you're deciding if you want to go see Marcano or not. Whereabouts were you based before? Waterdeep actually pretty close to where I'm heading anyway. Hmm. I thought I thought you'd uh, said that your your family had moved to Neverwinter. Hmm. They're... So, my sister-in-law's cousin has a holiday home, and that's where I left them hmm. for a bit. They, they, they decided they needed a break from all of the shenanigans going on back home. Oof. They're moving back soon enough. They have time. Both excellent cities, if uh, we ever needed to swing past. What about you, Amaryllis? You're very quiet. You realise Amaryllis is completely zoned out. Like, like she's hearing someone talking to her. <laughs> Just sort of mentally going, all right. I survived. I got out of the cave. What? What now? Is that to us or the book? No, to the to the book. Yeah. Honestly, I wasn't actually sure if you were going to survive that, so I hadn't really thought ahead. No. But you know, we could go back into the caves and see if. There's anything else down there? I did hear when you were talking rumors that some quite powerful adventurers were down there. They would make 
Interesting subjects, yes. And I think you deserve... I mean, your family have always had lairs. Why don't we get a lair? As Amorous is flashing back through the memory, her in the woods, her with her cat, her helping people in the village, her mouthing off to the people in the village, and then came the torches, and then came the running, and grabbing the book, <laughs> and begging for her survival, and now this. So, the cat's fine, by the way. I just like to point out the cat. The cat got away. <laughs> Just, just to check. As, I realise as the majority of the people on this call have a cat and would particularly care. Butter is fine and is living in the woods. Maybe got to the Feywild and, and it's now awoken. Um, again, sort of nods. I'm going to stick around here, I think. Uh, see if I can help um, clean up. See if I can fix things here. I've got very good at, you know, commanding, it seems. So, yeah. I'm going to do an insight check. Absolutely. Mm. I'm going to roll a deception. Well, it's not a lie. I am I'm very good at what I do. Getting on that. If we're all doing it. Shouldn't have bothered. 12. Yeah, she's fine. I only rolled a 10. Absolutely fine. 22. There we go. Oh, Zemora. Oh, Zemora. This is... You've seen this. You've seen this when people were just like, uh, like I, I was saying as Tom earlier, I'm smart, I'm clever, I'm charming, I can control this. I just, Amaryllis is looking haggard, looking, you know, there's there's a slight hunch to her now. There's uh, there's a gleam, there's a gleam in her eye. Yeah, there's, uh, okay. she's up to I something. I went to a water deep. I'm going to take you for a sunshine break. I know this is... See the sun for a bit before you come back. Yeah. Sabbatical. Sabbatical, absolutely. Peace and people. Yeah. Adendra walks sort of up with you all. Um, a lot of the soldiers are kind of doing similar to what Amaryllis has talked about. They're not in a rush to leave. Um, they're going to begin stripping down the fortress and, to be fair, also taking a bit for what they deserve. Um, but stripping it down and preparing it so it doesn't just get ransacked and taken by a group of bandits. Um, he says, if you wish to return and take command, she takes off the marshal's badge. There's nobody better to look after this place. I mean, you've got 20 years to do it, and, well, you don't have a war to fight, so... It might be quite fun. Thank, thank you. It's um, been an honour serving under you. Uh, you've been very kind to me when I came here. Thank it's you. An absolute pleasure. Don't forget who you are. You saw what you are, truly. Through your memories, not through your actions. Filmatically, like the shadows behind Amorous shift, and then and then settle into like you know, weirdly, it's been like I don't, I've got twenty years, you know. I just I tried being a good leader for a bit. Yeah, I had been intending to try and sneak away, but now I'm like, oh, actually, it's quite nice when I get when people like me. Are you being cold or just as open as? Before with Odendra, Nora. Cold. Oh no. <sighs> she smiles, and she it isn't a bitter or angry smile. She goes over, takes your hand. I'm going to head back to the Sword Coast. I hope we bump into each other and can have a glass of wine. Don't be a stranger. And she smiles. She nods. Sort of holds for one second. 
and then turns and sort of throws a bag over her shoulder and walks towards a um, carriage and gets taken down the road. Nora just holds the little beetle in her pocket and does nothing, watches her walk away. Bag for you, or as a parting gift? Sorry, me not blanked out yeah. there. What the bag? Did she threw? She threw? Didn't she throw something? Was no, she... over her back, back. Her, over her shoulder. Oh, her pack! I, I was like, scratch that then, because I was like, <laughs> she threw. Because when you said she threw a bag over her back, I was like, she's just giving us gifts. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's already giving me a bag. Christmas I'm... again. Yeah. Oh my god, it's for your Larry's birthday. We need to, we need to give her a cake. <laughs> and I feel like we end that scene of yeah. like Nora leave, uh, Odendra leaving one way and Amaryllis arguing with the other three about yeah. misunderstanding yeah. what Odendra was doing with that bag. This, and <laughs> just leading, like, I'm anyway. holding my friendship token and I'm leading Amaryllis going, come on. <laughs> the family are probably going to back to Baldur's Gate soon, so what about? And then back home to Neverwinter. They keep, yeah. they're, on a, they're on a trip, but they'll be back home by the time I get there. Back to oh. Neverwinter. Come with me. You're going to love to sail in. And, like, yeah. my nibblings. They'll think you're the cutest. Oh, yeah. in mark, guts, scratches, and cuts. We finish tonight's game. You nailed it. Thank we defeated the big bird. <laughs> it didn't die. It didn't. That's having an achievement. You might. <laughs> That's having an achievement for it not fully breaching the walls. <laughs> Which is like, I mean, still technically, yeah. technically, yeah. 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 We got to say a couple of things first. Mm. So, thank you everyone for joining us, for being part of the sort of mini finale of this, um, maybe kind of sad ending. It was really exciting and then a little heartbreaking <laughs> as well at the end. <laughs> um, but if you enjoyed tonight, we play D&D every Monday and Tuesday from 6pm UK time. Um, you can also join us on Fridays again for from 6pm UK time um, for other TTRPGs. Um, all of our shows are streamed on twitch.tv slash roll together RPG and you can find all of our content archived at youtube.com slash roll together RPG. There are also podcast versions, which is my personal favorite when I'm trying to catch up on shows. Um and they're literally everywhere. So just search for Roll Together RPG and you'll find them. A massive thank you to our D20 Club on Patreon. There'll be a link in chat now. Do join them. Every penny helps us make all of the content that we do, and there might even be a little surprise from this game on the Patreon. So keep keep your ears and noses and maybe even your eyes if you fancy it out and keep an eye on announcements and you might see something on there. Um, but to all of our sponsors and supporters, a massive thank you once again. And don't forget, all of the social, 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 social media as Roll Together RPG. Uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>